welcome to our first Diablo 4 Necromancer 1 to 100 speed run. We're going to do 1 to 35 probably today. So the two hours to or one hour 55 will be world record to the tier three. I want to choose the female Necromancer. The timer is going to start as soon as we get into the game. We're not pretty much going to customize that. Your test subject. Oh, test subject. Zero, one, two, test subject. The numbers are not allowed, it seems. So this is a test subject. Let's see, we get, we get our route laid out. So we're going to be... One to World Tier 3, time is planned 1 hour and 50. So, so that's that's what we definitely want to achieve, you know? Uh, we're probably not going to use potions. I mean, I'll, I'll probably, like, buy some or try to craft some. Uh, we're going to do a Bone Spear Search mix. And now we know we need to do the Blood-based Horfrost Dungeon, then Splintering for the Slums, Disobedience, and Torment. My problem is I have done all these dungeons, so I think I'll have to wait for level 25, probably, to get the dude unlocked. But let's see. Eternal Realm. That's evergreen. This is meant to be the level guide for the whole year, right? For everyone. To be able to enjoy the game to the max. Skip the cutscene. I did not skip the campaign. <laughs> I forgot to skip the campaign. Let's do this again. Great. So luckily we're professionals and we're doing things professionally. Professional. So we'll we'll do that again. That was quick. Yep. Fastest fastest speed run already failed. Let's do skip campaign. Oops. Uh, veteran is still not worth it. It's world tier one. I mean, seriously, who would go for veteran chat? Okay, skip the campaign and... Start the timer. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Done. Now let's move the skills from that comes here, that comes there. I want to tingle a mingle with you. You for the level up, lads. Appreciate it. Play the beast. Oh, this is a wave. This is the wave base. This is actually the perfect event to get. There's no better event to get in the beginning. Uh, we need one point in here, then one point in there. Need one more level, and we're Gucci. Some on our skeletons because there's no there's like no reason to not have them like support you in the very beginning. It's literally stupid to not do that. I have seen like so many necros that like literally refuse to use their skeletons even though they're their greatest asset. Right? Because they they just block damage in the beginning. I'm not use them. Give me more. <laughs> Give me more. Give me more. Give me more. I lack the required essence. I mean, why are we doing it on Eternal Realm? Because we didn't want the 20% bonus XP. That would have been boring. Bone Spear is also coming later. As soon as we're facing a boss, we're essentially going to be swapping between Bone Spear and Blood Surge. And it's going to be really interesting to see how well that one actually is going to work. Because in the beginning, you don't really need much in Bone Spear to make it... Like, you don't need any passives or anything to make it work. So, it's like... And then... Okay, done. Oh, some, some obolts, too. 
the sword on. Like some standard shitty gear on. Level 5 already. Uh, level 5 was leveling pass. Do, 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 do. Ah, yeah. Now one point in Bone Spear. As so we're not planning to use it, but we get that already in. Running to the next event quickly. Playing things on the way because you can. The thing about D4, I love it. It's a great game. I mean, I, obviously, I'm done with this season. So that's why we're trying out new things now for for um, the next season. This is why we're playing on the Eternal Realm to do like now a leveling speed run. Because I essentially want to see if if I can do if I can do it faster. You know, that's by the way, the event here, this is actually the crazy part about this event in particular. It just gives you straight away um, the experience. It's, it's kind of not worth it to actually do that one. Uh, the, the wave based one was doing way better. Back on the horse, going around here to find the next event. here oh this one is better because it's the soul so you're following it around right come 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 kill things curse things to get my essence back the beauty here curse 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 right full full essence from just cursing curse curse kill Done. Level 6. Perfection. Uh, some damage reduction. Yeah. Death Embrace now. We're, we soon can do the Horfrost. I mean, we're currently level 6. Horfrost is for level 8, roughly. Curse. Also, why he's better than Bone Spear. Still. Let's search just King, right? Hey, Necro. Good to see you there, brother. How are you doing? Welcome to our first speedrun. After all this time with Diablo now. What's your favorite class? Oh, uh, Necro. I only play Necro. I mean, I, I also play Druid, but, you know, my whole my whole expertise lies in the Necromancer's hands. So that's where we're also spending our time with perfecting that. Tarji. New item. New sword. I forget how few items you're actually getting when you're playing... Um, Eternal Realm, because this, this is now, now Eternal Realm. Uh, and in the Eternal Realm, you're getting way less items than you're getting in... This is, by the way, a very good farm, because this is like packs with very many mobs. So being here with a, with a Curse Blast combo is quite useful. So in the Eternal Realm, you don't have like the Blood Harvest to kind of fuel your... Feel your secret mission. I gather spirit anima from the undead. Oh no, it's talk to the wanderer. Mm -hmm. Wasted time. Still worth it to do, but it's not like that much here. Like when you when you have the wanderer event. It'll be very agile and mobile to delete these waves here. Not waste too much time sticking around. I think one is left. No, blow shit. Are you gonna see me use bone spear? Nah. At some point. <laughs> At some point. Blood search ain't just simply better to use. Kill them. Very good. Dude can fight for himself. Doesn't even need me. Like he's like, please help me. Like, bro, you can you can just literally fight for yourself. You're you're just you're just strong enough. I'm not ready. Sir, why why did you want my help? Done. Easy clab. Oh come on now. Yeah. <laughs> Bone spear boobity booped him. Uh, let's put the treads on. 
Okay, we're almost aid. Is it weird to play without WASD? Well, now after playing Diablo Immortal, guys, by the way. Do you know the current record? Uh, 157. Someone did it, I think, before Season 1 on the Necro. And I want to be 157. Uh, I don't know, like, what exactly, like, if he if he had... Uh, I think it was pre-season, so also no, like, XP boost and anything. So we, we, can, we can get that done. Also, Boris, good to see you there, brother. So this would be... Oh, curse. 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 I really like to have that level up before I go in, but it's really risky to go here because this is a level 21 area. Or that, that boss is like level 21. I mean, the only good thing is here. Like, I, we can kill him. That's not the point, but it's like just a uh, wasteful to even consider. Okay, that is uh, Corpse Generals if I want them. Let's do Horfrost Demise now. Why are we doing Horfrost Demise? Because we wouldn't have the Blood Soaked Aspect unlocked. So we need to do Horfrost Demise to get it unlocked then be able to enchant our things. 1 hour 57, well, YouTubing the plat, 1 hour 57 is essentially for getting to tier 3. So, sorry, I wasn't, I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't precise about that. So, this is for getting to world tier 3, okay? So, not, not for 100. 100 is not possible in that amount of, oh, that's, a, that's, this is a bug chest, Chad. Where all the, where all the people are spawning on it. <laughs> no, this is just free real estate. This is, this is just like the, the most amazing thing that can single-handedly happen to you in a dungeon. This is also why dungeons are so much worth it to actually do. Because if you if you get these chests here, I mean, you, you just notice how crazy this is, right? Especially with the curse surge combo. That's just... Silly. First yellow item as well. Take it. Level up. That is now one. And the next one is three. Getting a protection shrine. Don't need oh wait, am I running it? I'm running in the wrong direction. I'm wasted. Ooh. Is the record time Eternal Realm? The record time is Eternal Realm Shottington because uh, I think Rax probably did it on season. Not entirely sure. But it's also like he didn't submit it somewhere, Shottington, so I'm not, you know, I don't know. Now let's see how well my plans work out. I'm going to restore my mana. Give me a new wand. That's not better than what I have. Curse. God, curse is so amazing. I mean, see how how can you how can you play Bone Spear and think remotely? You know what? Bone Spear, Bone Spear is so good. I should be playing more Bone Spear. And well, that great sword should be better than what I have. Yep. It's a bit slower attacking, so that's like mm, the bummer. But since we're just one hitting everything, it doesn't matter that we're a bit slower attacking. Because well, you you're just you know. You're one hitting the world. I need more time. Mm -hmm. By the way, keep reminding me to actually pre press the split button, Chad, because I continuously forget to press the split button. I would have I would have now forgotten to press it. It's just a it's just a random accident that I actually thought about it. Oh. Okay. 12 minutes for the first one. That's now making things vulnerable if I want to. Pull everything together once in a while. Okay. 
done. I need more time. Again, we, we're doing the Horfrost Demise for an aspect that we can then enchant on our rings. Or amulet, as we get a ring or an amulet. Which you don't have in the beginning. I mean, you could also technically enchant it on your weapon, but... It ain't happening. Oh, I get it offhand. Who would have guessed? Actually, more damage, and that one is only slightly more damage. Okay, that's better. Because now we would be uh, heading to the boss, and as we're heading to the boss, the most... Oh, that's a basic ring. That's very good. As we're heading for the boss now, the most important thing to do is we're going to take... Oh, shit. Um, have to take the points out here. Hmm... Now, as we're fighting the boss, it makes no sense to, like... Stick with Blood Surge. It's just better, vastly, to use Bone Spear. Especially because you can still use these dudes for, for, for tanking. Oh. Thank you very much. Goes vastly faster. So Horfrost Demise is done. I'm teleporting out of the dungeon. It's, um, oh, shit. Same goes for the treasure goblin as for the boss. You kind of really do want to destroy it with this. But we're also playing both, you know, again. So now we could we could technically use the blood-soaked aspect as we have it already. Right? Lose the plan. You should also probably go back to craft a potion right now, but I'm actually not sure if you could craft a potion already. The vent is back. Talk to the Wanderer. Mm, I'm not sure if this is this is worth it to do with the Wanderer. Oh, holy! You came from below. Uncool. Liars, liars, pants on fires. I guess Bonesphere would be good here as well. But you notice how the combination of these two things just makes things vastly easier, especially when you're trying to kill dungeon bosses. Because usually Blood Surge is a bit like taking its time when killing dungeon bosses. That's the last thing you want it to, right? You know, you don't want to waste time killing killing a freaking dungeon boss. You want to have it done really, really quick. So we're going to use the power of both of these things. Get the most out of it. And that's working plenty well. AOZ tier 20 with Rogue and Barb. Think you're making Necro. Well, Ark, I mean, you, you can make Necro, but I wouldn't recommend it because, I mean, Necro is, when it comes down to AOZ pushing, just pain. Uh, there's, only, there's only one build which essentially works, and, you know... You're kind of like forced into into like like a big compromise where you just don't want to be like you want to want to be a bit more creative. You know, you want to try out more different things and you're essentially like forced to just play like one singular build because, well, that's that's what it is there. There's just nothing else you can you can effectively play. Uh, that's Necro for you, AOZ wise. It's a bit of a pain, to be honest. I mean, I, I do love Necro, don't get me wrong, but yeah, you you are fairly limited. Oh, 
But it is and stays my favorite class. No matter how limited you are, no matter how much like the game is throwing a wrench between your legs. Favorite class. Easy mode. What is an actual current speed run for Necro? Uh, for level, um, for, for world tier three, it's 155 or 157. Uh, Living Cloud, good to see you there. How are you doing? 11 already. Excuse me, Dan. So, uh, your blood search Necro is still weak as hell. It's mostly equipment, you know? Like as soon as you get like all these all these nice and juicy max life pieces, that's when you notice things just coming absolutely together. But it's really until you get the max life pieces, you're gonna be like, hmm, this this somewhat feels weak-ish. But you pick up the max life pieces and that's like bam 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 left, right, and center, okay? It's possible to push AOZ with bone spear in your opinion. I mean, well, tier 10 can easily be done with bone spear. Well, easily, but I mean you can do tier 10 with bone spear, but afterwards it's gonna fall off. So I wouldn't like again. Sh Shadow is the way to play Necro in AOZ, and that's not an op that's not an opinion. That's just a fact. Um, but that's due to like the class design of Necro just being sad. For leveling though, there's a bunch of other opportunities, which is which is the interesting part. So leveling is uh, Blood Surge, leveling is full Shadow Necro as well if you want to. It's Bone Spear. It's a mix of Blood Surge and Bone Spear, which we're doing here right now. So again, this, this is like something new I'm trying here currently, uh, where we're going to be mixing both because you're anyways never like maxing out kind of on your abilities. So why wouldn't you uh, mix both in together? It makes like no sense to actually not mix bows. Like why you would like be sending it so so hard for only one core skill because the passives in the beginning are not really worth it like you know getting a 12 percent multiplier on 100 damage is like yeah you no know, rather rather get like your abilities maximum out oh this is this is important we get freaking like spawns yeah we should we should do the modes the modes is actually important mm-hmm because now, now, like, when I do the event here, I'm going to get these modes, and the modes are going to be one one Tree of Whispers done, and that Tree of Whispers is, like, so easy to do that it would be criminal to not do it. Especially as we're riding along here. Oh, that's another... Another treasure goblin. I'm not ready yet. Why are we shooting those treasure goblin with bone spears? It's, it's a little bit more efficient to do that. Thank you very much. Another ring. Another scythe. Another treads. The event is not here. The event is one further. Oh, please, more goulds. More goulds. Thank you very much. I'm not ready yet. Oh, another wave based event. Dude, I am so lucky. This is kind of like this is really that that's not that's not anything I'm planning, right? If I'm if I'm lucky to get this event, it's amazing. I'm gonna your bone storm build. I'm 86, though I'm able to clear nightmares 92s. Oh, it's it's like you you choose you choose the good build, brother. You choose the good build. I mean, not all of my builds are working, but you choose an exceptionally powerful one of the ones we made. So you you'll only be having fun. I cannot foresee any pains for you. Steal one. Let's go. It's actually weaker than what we had there. No, actually, steal one, and then that together is slightly stronger. It's yellow. You all know you got to pick up yellow, chat. There's no no questions asked. Uh, now let's do this. Okay, we are already level 12. We are essentially aiming for... We're aiming for level 35. 
And then the capstone should be easy. And this time we're going to make our capstone way easier by really playing Bone Spear. Because that's going to be like the single target damage you're looking for. Single target damage of your dreams. Next stop would be... Do I have? I have all the modes, yep. So next stop with all these modes is now quickly here. Some of the three bosses. Hmm. Like, it's like such a nice bonus XP that it just makes no sense to not do this as it's just like available for you. Now, if I kill some ghosts, we're also getting, um, also getting the next thingy done. And the best part is that the ghosts are visible on the map. It's always my, my, listen, my favorite part is like the, when you, when you get one of these events where you have to kill something, right? A certain type of monster and you're getting like the cheat code because it now tells you where all of these monsters are on the map, right? You don't have to look. Is there is there many of this somewhere around? Nah, you you'll just walk into it. It'll it'll show you. I need more time. Be more. Yeah. Mm hmm. play Path of Exile. Path of Exile is fun, uh, but honestly, I prefer Diablo vastly more. Uh, I, I know a lot of people are like, you should swap to Path of Exile, Path of Exile, but Path of Exile is not the solution, you know? There, there is many reasons why I dislike Path of Exile. It's it's not a terrible game, don't get me wrong, but it's far from being the, the thing that solves every single issue, the thing that makes everything better. This would be now for the Torment aspect, that we can use the Torment aspect, okay? This one does not have a boss, as far as I... Did, did this one have a boss? I think it didn't have a boss. Are we sacrificing the skeletons? Usually... Around level... 20... That's when they become obsolete, uh, slash hashtag when you're actually getting Bone Storm. And then you don't need the skeletons anymore. Mm. More points, that's the curse thing. I wish putting more points in Iron Maiden would give you more essence back on cast. That, that would be really cool, because right right now Iron Maiden is like, like a few essence back on cast, right? Uh, which is which is worth it, but I wish like putting more points in Iron Maiden would actually be worth it. That would make it like a a cooler spell. We all know it is a cool spell already. <laughs> well, I mean, you're not allowed to gift away fifty Australian dollars. I think it's Australian dollars. I'm not entirely sure. I don't. I never know when it comes down to curious currency on YouTube. But Speedy, thank you very much. That's very generous of you. Happy New Year. But you just can't barge in here and throw money in my face. That's... I think that's illegal. Not entirely sure. Oh, our crossbow. I don't need it. <laughs> Ronnie, good to see you there. Want to flash up for more XP? You mean, why not use potions? Uh, because I couldn't craft potions realistically on a new character yet. I mean, if you're if you're a new character, I think like if you're lucky, you can craft one potion by level five if you picked up enough thingies. Um, so yeah. Also, this is our first try on this, so so don't like like this is our first try doing this. I'm, I might be I might be needing a couple more to get the perfect route. 
and also to get everything perfectly laid down. I mean, obviously I don't have a new account, so this is currently my account that has everything ready. Ryan? Thank you, Pyro, for the 79 months of support as well. Pyro, very good to see you there. Welcome to the Knights of the Round Stable once again. Thank you, Speedy. I do appreciate it. Oh, slay all enemies. What? Haunted cell block is a slay all enemies thingy? That is insane. Oh, goodness. Like, haunted asylum is like a no-brainer to actually do. Never thought about it, but... Kind of makes it like a no-brainer. Okay, why, why is the game lagging so much? I mean, like, literally not, not my, my computer lagging. Like, why, why is the servers feeling so shoddy? Is it is it because we, we have New Year? Is it because they're they're shutting down the Diablo servers? Is it that, Chad? Are the Diablo servers being shut down? The time to doom and gloom rumor mail? Help, please! It's like, ha, it's a trap. Oh, I get a, I get a wave base event. Yes. Please give me more. Yes. Oh, I get a wave base event with spiders. Oh, you're kidding me. More. Wave based event with spiders is just it's just cheat code. See, the, this is where I'm saying like you, you don't get this amount of XP when you're doing the dungeon farm uh, when you're doing the trick where you essentially farm um, multiple strongholds in a row because there's this stronghold farm thingy, right? Where you farm strongholds, but you essentially never get this amount of experience when you do the stronghold farm thingy right <laughs> more skellies more and the next point can already be down here and she's not gonna straight away put it into bone storm because that's not worth it i think We're trying to get aspects right now yes we're 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 doing uh three aspects but we don't need them for the leveling aspect uh-huh uh we need them for the capstone dungeon because for the capstone dungeon you want to be as prepared as you can be so i'm essentially doing three dungeons or a set of three dungeons to to get the respective aspects i would need to elevate this build to the next level um like there's the splintering aspect for bone spear for example to really make bone spear be uh even better than it has ever been so so that's where i'm like you know this this is something you need to do because it's just like no-brainer good And this here, for example, is for the Aspect of Torment. The Aspect of Torment gives you Essence Regeneration when you're critting with Bone Skills. And the Essence Regeneration for critting with Bone Skills is exceedingly good for, um, for Bone Spear in the Capstone Dungeon. So that you're essentially able to beat the boss easier. Because you're always going to be critting with Bone Skills at some point. 
and then you're able to just like get bonus essence generation going the whole time and that bonus essence generation should actually be able to really allow you to you know nasty dominate everything okay that was perfection to be honest oh no we'll keep that one and we'll we'll teleport out once in a while How do you level up fast at 60? Mm, with 60, you can just do Nightmare Dungeons, to be honest. Like, I mean, with 60, you can instantly do Tier 21 Nightmare Dungeons, and then you can just go through. Like, there's no tomorrow. It's it's brilliant. It's beautiful. It's nasty. <laughs> Speedy, you, you, Speedy, you already gave money. Come on now, brother. More, more money is just, more money is just main. Hold thy horses. Okay, yeah. Thank you very much for the second donation already from you. You crazy persona. Okay, we can craft weak iron barb elixir to be able to get that done. Three. Uh with this level now, we could we could not do core dragon. That's actually not possible. You could do Melnock if you want to, but Melnock is not worth it. I mean we would usually at this point go for the actually see how that plays now because i got the potions so we could go for the sirocco caverns it says 20 but it shouldn't matter at all so let's go does torment multiply your resource generation stats rolled on rings yes that's essentially what torment does and how it works i need more time do, do, do. It's funny how much slower you feel in comparison to, I need time to do that. playing the seasonal realm. Watched a hundred hours of your vids, so it's a cheap for getting to. <laughs> well, entertainment is for free, Speedy, and I appreciate everyone that's putting in uh, bonus support. So thank you very much. Bloodwave dot. The Bloodwave dot is brilliant. I'll tell us. Like, congrats for giving that a try. That's so much fun. You seem to get one shot at tier 20. Mm. I mean, it's, tier 20 is simply down to, well, yeah, you, you want to have perfect gear. Oh, you mean you mean like tier 20 with level 60? Oh, yeah, then, then your gear's just not good enough. I mean, seriously, uh, what you what you want to do is you want to do like one or two hell tides then, and then you should be able to go straight away. So what are you saying? If you're level 60, uh, you do one, two hell tides for, for experience because the one, two hell tides for experience are just going to go super smooth. By the way, where, where are we right now, chat? We're in the Sirocco Caverns because as you see, like there, there are no, um, there are no hassle for us. Like this is like meant to be level 20, right? But it doesn't matter. Our skeletons are functioning as a little bit of a tanking here. So they're doing minimal tanking and we're essentially just blasting our way through hordes of spiders. And this is like why we're doing the Sirocco Caverns especially. Because they're like, this is all melee opponents, no special abilities, nothing going on. Very easy to kill, right? And again, we can still summon all the mages and the skeletons because they're, there's like, there's no, nothing gained by sacrificing these right away. But everything gained by just having them around because like they don't they don't die very much. Like they're they're not hard to keep alive. It's just minimal effort to have this going on. Now we do Memento Mori, so where we are essentially getting like our sacrifice bonuses and our damage reduction increase in the long run. God, I love this for I love this dungeon here for leveling because it's just so so stupid easy to do. It's actually crazy how how much weaker Necro is when he's facing enemies that can fight back. So that's like the thing, right? Where we're facing enemies that are in no way shape meant to be like competing with you, right? They're they're all like one hits.
<laughs> QSoul, thanks for the 11 months already. Jeez. QSoul, welcome on, on Twitch and here as the as the double double super sub. And now as we get this done, so we're just going to be swooping around on the bottom to clear out the last opponents that are left alive. But that's it already then, right? And now, now are you going to wrap this up? And don't do the second part of this, because the second part of this has the fallen shamans and everything. And they're they're just a bit more annoying to kill. They just take longer, right? There's a bunch more elites and everything. See, this is this is like now now you're te teleporting out. You're teleporting out, as I said. You think this way to go? Yes, Litless is for everything. Litless is just genius. No matter what you play in the end game. Okay, now reset dungeon and go back again. And that we're going to do now around level 20, to be honest. And then we're probably going to do one or two strongholds because the, so the advantage about strongholds is the amount of XP they give for completion. So we should be able to complete like one, two strongholds to get like a huge XP boost from that. That's at least the, the plan. You notice how our Iron Maiden keeps me like topped up on essence at any point. Just dumb. Full essence, full essence. I'd <sighs> rather go Deathless Visage or Shaco. Um, I, I did the moth and Deathless Visage feels just better than Shaco on Bone Spear, personally for me, especially for non AOZ content. So yeah, I mean, that, that's probably down to like, you know, you have a Shaco, you know, you, you put in the efforts to farm it, but Necro is the one class that really doesn't need any Uber Uniques. Like, like, I, I, you, like Uber Uniques are essentially wasted on a Necromancer. Like, what, what, what can I say? It's literally, you have Uber Uniques, congratulations. I mean, I have a grandfather on my Necro, right? And I, I don't use it because why? It's just, it's just not even doing much for me I need more time and for AOZ Shaco I mean technically you should have enough damage reduction to not need it for AOZ but again also uh bone spear is really not the the AOZ build It works, but it's essentially using a using a shoe instead of a hammer to slam in a nail, right? I mean, you can you can do it, right? <laughs> but it's it's highly not advised. Gets the job done. Only because something gets the job done doesn't make it doesn't make it the right tool for the job. Teleport out. We're 16. Can we, like, we're 40 minutes, 50 minutes. It's going to be interesting when we actually reach level 20. We said dungeon. I know this is the boring phase, guys, because you're literally going to have to spam that dungeon if we want to do it quick. But I'm going to be interested to see how much faster the... Strongholds are actually going to make in. And which strongholds we should actually do? That's the bigger question. I mean, the... The goat stronghold is... Yeah, we, we could do the goat stronghold. Never sure how much worth that one is. Because the enemies in the str goat stronghold are relatively easy to beat. So, so they're no... They're no problem. I need more time. The goat boss is just merely annoying. But honestly, if we do the goat boss with bone spear, it should work. I'm not ready. 
When was the necro passive again? The necro passive was level twenty level twenty-five. Tier two or tier three? Always always uh, tier, tier tier two or tier one. Always tier one. Tier two is just not worth it because um you're taking more time to clear things, and that more time you're taking to clear things. Despite you're gonna be telling me now, Pony, no, I don't take more time to clear things. You are. You are, no matter what class you play, you're taking more time. And that more time you're taking is essentially like like less optimal than than just doing things faster. I mean, for 20% more XP, you're still like killing things a wee bit slower. And then and then you're essentially just wasting time. So yeah. So this is my first time officially doing a speed run for myself where I'm not just YOLOing and seeing how fast I can do it. And I'm getting stressed out by the timer, Chan. <laughs> I'm getting stressed out by the timer. But but not in a bad way, you know? Kind of like, oh god, jeez. Holy, why am I doing this? <laughs> is grinding Tree of Whispers worth it? Honestly, doing Tree of Whispers is not really slower than what I'm doing here right now. Uh, especially if you have Lucky Tree of Whispers. So there is Tree of Whispers like Kill Event, Kill Event, Venomous Modes, Venomous Modes, Venomous Modes. I mean, technically, you should teleport over the map and just do the Venomous Modes ones because they are very simple to do and they give you so much XP. I mean, we can we can do this in between here right now just to just to see like the boost. But you also have to consider like the time you spend teleporting around and still like looking for the opponents and all that kind of stuff. So it's always like a yes, it's good, but and then, you know, we're going out again. Be seventeen in a second. Then I can pick up the new weapon. Come on, do do go away, poison. What's the estimation to getting to one hundred, Altaza? Honestly, like the the getting to one hundred part is relatively fast because later. Uh, when you're spamming nightmare dungeons, especially with blood search, you you're just sailing through the dungeons. I mean, with the right build, it's it's just insane. Um, it's step. Oh wait, he didn't reset. Wasting <gasps> time. So twenty hours. <laughs> I mean, it depends on if you're, like, in Seasonal Realm way faster. I don't know. What, what did we do last time in Seasonal Realm 10? It's a target here. Um, One hour and 55 is the target. Two, tier three. That's step one of the step one of the speed run, essentially. Then we're going to, then we can, then we can make a pause and take a breather to reevaluate uh, what, what, what then to do. You know, if, if like, if, if, uh, because if you're skipping early over, then you get to do like the right strongholds. So on. Also, it's going to be interesting to see actually doing the capstone dungeon with this level because it's going to be, going to be a challenge. And okay, we could slowly start phasing the lads out. But I don't, I can, I don't, can only sacrifice them for essence and the warriors I can. Only sacrifice for bonus resistances. Actually, bonus crit chance, but the bonus crit chance you don't need. So that's why we're not sacrificing the warriors. The the mages are worth to sacrifice for overpower damage straight away. So as, so as soon as you get there, you just you just sacrifice them. <laughs> Screwed mages. Domheim tunnels to farm XP. Sirocco caverns is better uh, because Domheim tunnels has these stupid. Uh, How are they called again? The rats. Will rats. Whereas this has the spiders here. And as the spiders are exploding, they're essentially exploding into more spiders. And that gives you a unique thingy where you're truly able to produce essence. And then you're able to produce more essence. And then you're able to produce more essence. But that only works against the spiders. So the, the enemy type, like, like the Domheim tunnels are good for other classes. But due to the spiders being like the perfect enemy type to kill for Necro. Only Necro players often understand. Um, makes it so much better to farm this here. 
especially if you're doing the blood search build because you, you notice how i'm like continuously now now that thing exploding gives me full essence i'm continuously like running around with full essence because we're playing exactly this way right and now that dude dies and i can full essence again so so that's like something you can't replicate with with a different class you know it's like a necro thingy going on how easy you have it we're farming Sirocco Caverns, it's called. Akana Stronghold is pretty dense. Yeah, but we're not we're not um farming strongholds because I find stronghold farm like with the lock in, lock out, it's kind of boring. Especially because it resets your potion every single time, too. So if you're doing the stronghold farm with lock in, lock out, every every lock in, lock out is losing you your potion. So you could argue about the efficiency of that, that you're actually losing your potion continuously. See now, like again, we killed the spider dude, right? And then we pull everything once in a while together. Now we're going to pull you with us. Oh, no. We're actually not even going to pull. See, curse, curse. Pull again. Everything dead. Resummon my skellies. Uh, you said something about strongholds. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're going to do strongholds. like, But we're actually going to do strongholds. So... Uh, there's there's a thingy where you do stronghold farm. The stronghold farm is do a stronghold, log out, log in again to reset the stronghold. Okay, so that is the so-called stronghold farm. What I what I'm planning to do is actually finishing strongholds. So so one or two. Um, I just gotta see like which ones are truly worth it, which ones like make sense to actually finish. Okay, here, give me full essence again. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Why am I checking weapons straight away? Because weapons are the biggest damage gain. So, like, this this is the one thing you want to check ASAP. If you kill something, if there's a better weapon, like, equip it. Because that's just straight up damage boost. 18. Boom. I'm literally not sure if I'm fast because I have no like comparison. I haven't I haven't done it in a while, so I don't know if I'm doing it good. Uh, we need skeletal mages now as cold mages to give me essence. This is also why you actually keep mages in the beginning because they're they're just providing essence, so you can you can farm things even faster. Again. Dunzo. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Oh, uh, Alcanos and Havzar seem to be most dense. Alcanos is like super dense. Like we love that. Okay, we're going to do one more. And I think then we're going to do one tree of whispers because I'll, I'll show you like just, just to show you like the different strategy that you could apply. And this is why I want to do this speed run multiple times, guys. So this is like, this is now try number one. And I want to do multiple versions of this. So like, this is the one where I do like speed farm into dungeons. And then I want to do one where you obviously uh, do Tree of Whispers. Also, this is like non-seasonal. So this is meant to be like a, a baseline method that obviously needs to be adapted with the season so because seasonal mechanic for example is blood harvest right now and you would you would usually do the blood harvest because the blood harvest is just more experience than than actually like like uh dungeon farming because like it's just better simple right but since i want to have a method that works over seasons uh we're we're seeing like how the level route does here Boop. 
please be my guests and all just die. <laughs> okay. Oh, you killed all my skeletons. That hasn't hasn't happened in a while. Are you using Midwinter Blight Potion? No, we're doing that on the Eternal Realm. So no Midwinter Blight Potion. This is on the Eternal Realm because like the Midwinter Blight Potion is something you don't always have. So this is this is supposed to become your guideline chat. If you want to play Necro or level any other class, to be honest, uh, like I'm, I'm trying to give you a guideline for the whole year now of how it would work best to level up fast. If you then want to level up fast. I mean, not, not everyone wants to level up fast. People want to take their time. There's nothing wrong with wanting to level up slow as well, right? Some some people really wanna wanna just be chill and not rush through the game. But a lot of us like like I want to make multiple necros next season because I want to make a blood necro and I want to make a shadow. Like I want to make three necros next season. Okay, straight from the get go. That sounds maybe a little bit crazy. But there, there are reasons to do that. Okay, now now what we're going to check is, where is Venuma's modes? Uh, oh, fuck. This is Venuma's modes. So you go there. Because now you know, if you go in that area, kill minions, you get the modes. And these modes will give you the XP. And then you get another three points for your, for your thingy. But not only that, next to it is another event where you can essentially just kill, uh, do, do an event event. And that event will also yield you modes, end of the day. But it is also um, like giving you another point for the Tree of Whispers. It's 19, perfect. Need 22 to sacrifice my skelly boys. How long does it take to reach level 100? Right now, seasonal, 12 hours. Maybe faster. See, seasonal is really fast currently. With the bonus XP you're getting uh, with like, yeah, with everything. Honestly, high, high recommendation. With a, with a Blood Harvest too, Blood Harvest is currently the seasonal mechanic. Uh, leveling has never been faster. Is Bone Spear considered physical damage? You can have... Um, <clears throat> sorry. You can hover over any ability and it shows you at the bottom what, what damage that ability is. And Bone Spear is, yes, indeed, physical damage. Oh, this is a wave-based one. I'm getting another wave. Oh, God, this Christ. Am I just blessed? I get so many wave-based ones now. But yeah, like I said, going here now for the Tree of Whispers, right? To do the event, which is going to give me one. Plus the three for collecting 100 modes. And that's where that's where I'm saying like it's it should not be underestimated how amazing um doing whisper stuff is. Especially when you have players joining you. I mean, this is like right now a happy little accident, right? I didn't enforce this. They're joining me, so I'm getting like bonus XP for these guys being around. Now you could say, Pony, this is stage, you know, paid actors or whatsoever. <laughs> Well, what? it's a massive online game. What can, what can I do? Like, should, should I, I can't play offline. Right? I need more The, the events are going to expire in under two minutes. I think they already expired, my friend. So I, I, I went very unlucky here that I didn't look at the timer. So you're right about that. I mean, the, getting this event is still good, but unlucky that we're actually not getting anything for the Tree of Whispers. So you could, you could call it wasted time if you want to. Uh, let's check for another modes. That is another modes. 
But nothing to teleport close by. Mm. There's another modes. Can do that. So unlucky timing. Need to go back to the city anyways to trash everything I have right now. I cannot do that here. Win favor, my friend. Goon. We need some basic materials to enchant stuff. Arx, happy to you to you, partner. How are you doing? Hope you had a good one. No, no, like firecracker ripped off your arm or anything. No, no injuries, Chan. You're all hale and healthy. I'm not ready yet. Spider events, spider events. It helps. It helps to know where all the world events are. So, so generally. Having a map open about the world events really makes it easier for you to always be ready. I'm not ready yet. Skeletons are just one hitting every spider. I beg you. Sorry, I, I can't. I put like I'm being blocked by spiders. You will you will have to die, unfortunately. And also these these uh, these humans are they're like literally like please save me. I can't save myself. I mean, they they're they're not they're not even they're not even pretending. They're not even trying. Weak links. Done. Oh, two items. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh, that, that's actually worse. Cool. Now we collected 100 modes and that's it. One event, one thingy. And they're, they're always a good bonus XP, right? Boom. Level 20. Next split. Uh, we get that one going. So now we need another one for two more points. So I can quickly just run there. Find the corpse if I want to. I just like the find the corpse one a little bit because it just takes, you know, like you gotta, you gotta go around here and if you're, if you're unlucky, the area is big and it takes a while. How slow leveling up from 1 to 20 is compared? It's interesting, right? I mean, this is the mobile phone game character of these games where you get hooked with flashy, fast leveling. And you're like, oh, wow, this is great. And then you, you gradually slow down, but you don't actually notice it. You know, it's because it's sinister and sneaky. And then and then you, you're suddenly like, oh, man, you know, this is actually taking a while. And it's designed in a way for you to to essentially not, not, even, not even notice it. Garbage corpse. It would have been smarter to do the, the cellar. Because the cellar surge is always better. It could also be a very good event in general. Okay, done, right? And now you can hand this in and it's usually always a huge chunk of XP. Moylane, thank you for the 32 months of support. Is Necro a personal preference or the fastest in terms of leveling? No, I just only play Necro. I'm, I'm a Necro player that plays Necro, and then I play a little bit more Necro and Necro and Necro and Necro. The hop at the end of my name stands for, well, the, a pony hop, a pony farm, a farm full of ponies. You know? Actual, actual farm full of ponies. Uh, overpower damage, physical. Yep, that's fine. Have you heard a farm full of ponies yet? Okay, we also need to do, this is very important, the Hall of the Damned. 
Because the Hall of the Damned would be for the uh, disobedience aspect, so that we are able to enchant disobedience, because you need disobedience for... Well, we do want disobedience for the final dungeon. So now we're going for the 21. Did Hall of the Damned have a boss? Yes. Finally, I'm going to skill into Bone Storm. So it's been a while now. But we reached 21 because with 22, I'm essentially sacrificing the skeletons. Long enough that we kept them. Bring the next potion. A half in German is place. No, like a pony half is a pony farm. A half is a farm. But a half at the same time is also like technically in front of your house. When you have a space in front of your house, that can also be a half. <sighs> yeah, Germany. It's a bit complicated. This is technically a very bad dungeon to do for one reason, and that is the door opening sequences. Because you're essentially forced to like open all these doors, right? Instead of just running through, just doing this quick, no. You gotta open all these ugly doors to, to make your way through. Then when you're here, though, you're getting like a lot of dense enemies with a lot of elites. So that's that's usually good. Over here. Over here. Like this dungeon is such a mixed bag of things that are good, bad or ugly. Done. Let's pull them all together for a second. That's not better. Oh, really? Really? This is th this is this one where you have to teleport to the one side and to the other side. Oh godness, this one is horrible. As a gigantic time waste, I. But you kind of do need to go for disobedience. Oh, that's a harsh one, though. See, like, you gotta go through this. And then you essentially gotta go through the other side as well, and I don't even... And wow. This one's really not designed very well. Okay, we're 21. After after getting now like this dungeon done, we're essentially gonna do strongholds because strongholds is then where where the next XP is is best to be gained. Easy. Well, that's uh, fin finally ranks to all macabre skills. That's a robbery and a half. <laughs> does X-Files ring work with the shadow damage over time from corpse explosion? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It does.
we'll definitely have to like think about a alternative route. I feel like we're fast enough. There's definitely some more speed to be weasel out of this. And the, the actual going into the dungeon slows us down. Can't wait to make like the comparison with the Tree of Whisper route, which I, I like the Tree of Whisper route more because you're like, you're essentially doing a variety of tasks. Whereas here, it's just really like, you know, dungeon, 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 dungeon. It's a bit like yawn. Oh, did I, by the way, ever skill my skeletons into something? I never did, huh? Wow. Just noticed that we never actually made them into something. Oops. Chan. Am I missing out on some individual strength there? And now we're going for the boss. And again, what we're going to do is we will... Put the... Points out. This is one this boss is one of the more fun ones to always fight against because the tomb lord makes his bone bone thingies and these bone thingies he's making you can always curse them done such a such a quick dungeon to be honest and okay, now we're gonna go back in these points again okay uh, we're going for Melnog yeah finishing finishing strongholds does give a significant portion of XP so it might make sense you curse it with Iron Maiden uh, yes Iron Maiden with one point in Iron Maiden restores five essence per curse target and five essence per curse target is doesn't sound like a lot for some reason, but I mean, there's 10 targets, you get 50 essence, right? I need more time. World boss is cracked. Oh yeah, world boss is definitely what you need. Oh, wait, we need to go for the right, right round. You know what instead instead of essentially like swapping around the whole time what i could do is i could keep the points in you know because i, I don't need these points here right now yep and just just in case i need it right in that moment I'll just go for that the aspect we're missing right now we did uh one dungeon we did bloodbath we did torment and disobedience the only thing we're missing is the splintering aspect that's the last one that's missing and splintering was from uran slums Whoever froze me, you're uncool and I hate you. Whoever feared me, you're uncool and I hate you as well. I'm a simple man. I'm just full of hate. Chat. All these nerds being in our way. Filled with hatred and vitriol. 
Okay, I got family. We don't know what his family looks like because we haven't seen any female goats. So it seems like that it's here, like like that that goat man only reproduced by taking advantage of non-goat females. I'm not gonna use the R word, Chad, but this is what it seems. I haven't I haven't looked into goat man um, society yet, but I I haven't I haven't seen any goat goat women. Okay, now, now that the mages are here, we can sacrifice them for overpower damage. Just strong. I like that. Also, it actually gives us damage reduction. It makes our overpower stronger. Still too easy, like, to keep my dudes around here. I need to actually go a little bit further on range, even. Really hit everything. And that's why why it's like so useful to keep the warriors in the beginning because they essentially allow me to just keep keep standing here in range and and pelt him with the with the maximum effectiveness of bone spear so else you're always like forced to kind of kind of go under him right away That's done. Good amount of XP. Definitely worth it. Easy claim. Chat, easy claim. Get that get that bonus XP. It's a little bit, but to have or not to have. That's the question. What do, what do we go back to? Do we go back to doing Sirocco Caverns? To just farm that down because we wanted to do Malnock. We went went back and forth. So now, now the only thing that's missing is Ghoulron slums, and you would have everything unlocked. Or are you making the character on the Eternal Realm? <clears throat> well, because it's, like, on the Seasonal Realm, it's too easy. And, like, what does a level guide on the Seasonal Realm use you for Season 3? You know? Because in Season 3, you're already going to be uh, having a different Seasonal mechanic, and you're not going to have Blood Harvest anymore. So this is about testing an actual build. And right now, the testing is going really good. Let me tell you this. The testing is going already very good. When I don't need more seasonal characters, I'm going to... Like, this one is just a delete. I'm just making this to get deleted. Okay. I need more time. We're not making this to be kept in any way. A crow fetish. Mm -hmm. Does instance bonus XP work with elixir XP? Yes, but you're most likely not able to craft them right in the beginning. I mean, instances need like some some weird resources, so so most of the time you're actually not able to craft instances straight off the rib. That's why I'm also not not using instances in any capacity.
My same goes, I have the resources to upgrade every single item I find instantly to plus five. Because of my other characters, right? I could I could also just I could also just enchant everything. I don't I don't have to do the dungeons beforehand. But this was about like what if I was what if what, what if it's season three, right? And you have a new character and you're trying to do the optimal thing. And this is what we wouldn't end up up with. I need more time. Right? The lack is so weird. I don't even know what that is. Oh! You, we got no time for you! Not that he's a problem to kill, it's just more like we, we ain't got we ain't got the time. What do, we, do we have the build? You're wasting my time, Mr. Butcher, sir. This is, by the way, where Bone, Bone Spear is very good because, um... Because the, um... Blood Surge always ends up with... Being bound to your life force when you're doing damage, right? And that's a bit of a bummer. Oh, I see. I foresee a bad ending to this to this parade, Chad. Aha! I tricked you. Not even worth it. But I couldn't resist. I'm wasted. <sighs> My perfect scenario, just let yourself get killed. The side quest. Oh, Johnny, there is fantastic side quests in the game with very deep lore as well only that no one that actually plays the game really cares for this you know that's the sad part so the the devs actually made a bunch of interesting side quests right uh the the, the problem often is that the arpg community itself that uh, like the hardcore arpg players they they don't even appreciate side quests because they're just like you know they, these take too long we have no time faster 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 I mean, there, there is, there is like many, many cool side quests. They give you also story insights into the prime evils and some other shenanigans. It's quite cool. Andreas, good to see you there, brother. I'm not ready yet. Remember me playing PUBG? We recently won a PUBG tournament in case you missed it, Chad. It's really cool. I haven't played PUBG essentially in month. And uh, I was invited to a PUBG Creator Tournament, and we actually won that one. And that win is now financing my my solar battery for my PV that I recently got on the roof. So, whoop whoop. You know? Good things can happen. And I'm usually I'm usually just, like, having, having unfortunate things happen in the past year. You know? Especially financially. So, so that was, like, one of these things where you're like, oh, wow, you know? Good things can still happen, it seems. That that was that was really cool. Uh, especially because, you know, it, it was against a lot of people that have played more PUBG recently. And we essentially just won by by playing as a very good team. And I even get some kills, you know? 
I wasn't completely useless. Realistically, I farmed this down like a maniac. Even though rush games and cry, they're too short. Well, I mean, Diablo is obviously not a game where the story is the main portion of the game. That could be said, right? I mean, ARPGs are in designed to have a story portion that is always the entry in the game. It's like, it's like World of Warcraft, right? I mean, World of Warcraft officially begins with max level, right? Everything before that is just getting there, but it's not the main game. And the same is with ARPGs. Like it's like the whole the whole thing before before technically the max level, the whole story is is just the getting there part. My first playthrough, oh on my first playthrough, I did so many side missions. I tried to discover everything. There there's like cool quests. I mean the sadness is just that the side missions are not providing anything meaningful. So there there's really not like a single side quest where you're like, oh man, you know the the reward. <laughs> You are getting from that side quest is so good. You might really want to try to get that one. Nah. I mean, there's one or two interesting amulets out there, but still nothing where you like. Like this, this is an absolute 400% must have, right? We're like, yeah, sure. I mean, if you if you really want to, you could you could go for it. Wow, how how is that how is that two-handed weapon worse than what I have here right now? A butcher boy, happy new year, everyone! Happy new year, left and right. Hope none of your friends try to explode you. <laughs> By throwing fireworks at you. And I don't do, I don't participate in the fire working anymore anyways. My, my children are never going to have that tradition, which, which I'm very okay with. I'm not ready yet. Some people find it sad. I'm, I'm happy when fireworks die out, when our children are growing up. I do not, I do not need it in my life. Okay, corpse tendrils. Oh, giant sword. I like that. Come on. Give me give me a better one. Oh, sadness. Well, actually, I should check if it's actually, like, like decent. Okay, which, which uh, stronghold could I do with this level right now? I'm currently level 23. Stronghold. I mean, Core Dragon is a 30 stronghold, and the boss is, like, I I'd rather keep it 430, to be honest. I mean, you could do the one with the three witchy bitches, but that one takes long. It doesn't give that much XP. The advantage of Core Dragon is it's just like clapping minions. Uh, oh, we, we could do the Watchtower, Onyx Watchtower. I think that's the... Hmm, is Onyx Watchtower this level? I mean, as sad as it sounds, and this is like this is like the problem with like these speed runs, right? They're they're not optimized for fun. So as sad as it sounds from an activity perspective, the best thing I'm I'm off with is right now just uh spending the next 20 minutes only doing this here. And try to squeeze out as much XP as I can shorthanded. Um, we definitely lost a lot of time getting getting the splintering aspect that we're essentially not even using. So the splintering aspect is when we start to enchant then with level 25 for the capstone dungeon. Because the splintering aspect is like your damage. Since it kind of makes the splinters that are coming out of bone spear be very deadly shebang.
Great. I love it when you just randomly walk past my... Reached 100 with my first char this morning. Beat all big boss up to Dura. Uber Lilith is a question of learning the mechanics. I mean, either you learn the mechanics of Uber Lilith or you become so horrendously broken that um, you just skip all the mechanics. So so you essentially have a choice to make there. Like, you know, either either you learn it or you're just like YOLO DOLO. <laughs> just, break, just break through her defenses with a click of one button. Both both are valid strategies. Often people choose to well not not learn her because it's 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 like more convenient to like skip her faces. I mean phase one is still needs to be learned how to avoid like the, the one hits, but phase two is kinda like you wanna you wanna skip everything, right? Any tips to how to overcome the struggle single target DPS on the blood search build? Uh you just get so much overpower that there's no struggle anymore. That's the trick, Lagus. I mean, right now, as you can see, I'm playing a Blood Surge Bone Spear build mix because that's actually the fastest way to go through the dungeons right now. Like, we're not using corpse explosions or anything. We're just using a combination of these two because they that just allows me to to overcome any any competition. I mean, we could use corpse explosion here for the Sirocco Caverns because uh, every now and then with the elites, it might be a bit faster. But reasonably, we're, we're as fast as it goes. You don't know how to reliably spam overpower damage. I just spam. Well, that's the trick, but you also need to work on your essence generation. So in our recent videos about the Blood Surge, we talked about how you turn Blood Surge into an infinite essence generation monster. So you would essentially be able to just continuously produce essence uh, against vulnerable targets, for example. And with that infinite essence generation, which works really well, you kind of get rid of the um, single target lack of damage because you're just going to be continuously doing damage to a point where you're then... Well, just, just overpowering the effect of not being able to do enough damage. Actually, a very funny concept where you're just saying, like, just do more. <laughs> you know, by, by doing more, we're doing more. And then doing more just allows us to do even more. Done. Enemies die. Pony's just randomly summoning undead instead of like doing his actual core skills because he's pressing the wrong buttons. Always the worst part when you change things in your builds and you kind of like forget which button did what. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper McCreepface. Now let me let me refill my essence and boop and okay we're gonna make level twenty five now and then we have to do the quest it's a bit annoying because the quest is gonna steal time away from us again. But through the half side of the monitor's deadly face, have to watch. <laughs> you think Bone Spear over Blood Surge ultimately? No. Bone Spear is. Uh, Blood Surge is vastly better for dungeon farming. Especially when you farm nightmare dungeons that don't have bosses. Uh, yeah. It's just, it's just that quick. Blood Surge is just that amazing. Bone Spear is good. Don't get me wrong. There's a, there's a space for both at the table. But Blood Surge just exceptionally did well last season. I mean, there still needs to be more synergies because uh, they essentially changed Rothma's Vigor to work with Blood Orbs, right? 
Well, congratulations, Rothamus Vigor, for now working with Blood Orbs. Uh, you essentially don't give Blood Surge a single way to work with Blood Orbs. You know? So they changed one mechanic in the game. Uh, but then they forgot to, in any way, give one of the Blood Skills a chance to interact with that mechanic. Because obviously the, the Blood Lands just perfectly works with goddamn blood orbs but yeah blood surge the second skill essentially cannot work with its own key passive like i, I literally don't know like it seems like such a half-assed thing again like someone someone thought about how to make things work better um then then he thought it 50 percent through applied the change and uh noticed ah man we're lacking here maybe and uh, but then didn't follow up on the on the lag you know, kind of like, oh yeah, uh, this is this is unlucky. It's kind of like, ooh, uh, ooh, I forgot something. Uh, maybe no one will notice. You know, <laughs> that, that's how it feels. Kind of like, oh yeah, maybe maybe no one will notice that we did an oopsie. I mean, come on, the people don't really play the game, right? So yeah. One of these things you get used to when playing Diablo 4, that every single idea seems to be half cooked and not fully, oh. Uh, let's go for the guaranteed overpowers. That's a good thing to have. It's also why I'm using the Blood Surge and the Bone Splinters together. Because the Guaranteed Overpower will essentially allow me to Guarantee Overpower with Blood Surge. So whenever I have that one going, I can Guarantee Overpower with Blood Surge. Right? While, while I don't have that going, I can just keep doing my Bone Spear damage. That was such, such nice damage. Okay, now we need to make our way downtown. Walking fast, looking good, losing time. Uh, when you take an elixir and consume a different elixir before the first one expires, it cancels out. Cancel out. You, can, you can't have two elixirs running at the same time. That'd be OP. Elixir ran out. Oop. Oop. I'm not ready yet. Didn't anticipate needing this many elixirs. Not while I'm so now doing this quest is like a gigantic drag on your time. Because you notice how we just did like four levels in, what, four, 14 minutes? So I could just do the next five levels super simple. But you kind of need to do the necro quest because you want to sacrifice the golem for more power. If you do not sacrifice the golem for more power, you are going to be lacking. I need more time. Hope you have a great year. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. I don't doubt it. When it already started very well, you know, uh, the children had fun. My community is still there. I mean, this is the first stream of the year, essentially, guys. And we had a good idea. And that idea is already working out. People, people like this. You know, it's it's fun to kind of to kind of try to compete with myself. I mean, I'm obviously not competing against anyone else, right? This is just me competing with myself. But it's still really fun for me to see, like, can I can I do it faster? Can I do it good? Is is the the build that I have in my mind gonna be working for the capstone dungeon? Because obviously when the new season comes out, I want to have like a max level character fast and then I want to make a second character fast max level. So we we can essentially try out all the cool new mechanics and I can deliver more builds. Because this time, if I manage to level two Necros up really fast, then I can just give you more builds better. Because that, that's been like a problem last season that I still decided to only play one Necro. 
And due to only playing one Necro, I was in the unfortunate position of having to like reskill and de-skill and come back. And that, that led to me like not, not being able to do all the fun builds I wanted to do and until I finally then leveled up another Necro to, to allow me to like quick swap, hot swap between builds a bit faster. Um, but yeah, it took me too long until I did that because I was kind of like stuck with this idea of like one character is enough. So that was a mistake. Robert, good to see you there. How are you doing? Oh, that's an event. Uh... Usually wouldn't do this one. Why? Because not enough enemies. It's kind of like a, one of these weird ones where you're hoping to like have enough enemies to curse, but you're not. So it like, like goes a bit lunky. See, like they're slowly, slowly picking up enough enemies. Yeah, until until you finally hear have the curses to get enough of these guys. Oh, weird weird server lack again. I mean, what is this? Dunzo. Now, come on, give me, give me, give me something better. Give me something better. Let's get the golem and sacrifice it. Golem. We're keeping the warriors essentially until. I mean, until we go into the capstone dungeon, because the capstone dungeon, that's where they're finally useless. But until then, Bone Storm is not really more useful. So what would you say right now, next step? Probably doing the Core Dragon, right? Core Dragon is level 30. Just not sure how easy we're going to be able to do the boss. Not sure if I'm going to be wasting time. Probably better to do like one more stronghold beforehand that's not Core Dragon, but I'm currently trying to think about which stronghold is worth it. See it now here, fixed overpower. Done. They are ready. Spirit. Keep conversation, book of the dead, golem, sacrifice him for attack speed. Better to have attack speed than not to have attack speed. Um, Temple of, Temple of Rod is actually a good one. Yep. Temple of Rod is quite easy. I think Onyx would have been better than Temple of Rod, but I'm already here now. I do that here. I'm already here now. That rook gives also ranks to Macabre skills. Really? Oh, Siphon. Yes. Yes. What is this? Usually these events, like, they don't really spawn many opponents, but for some reason when you're when you're in the here in this area, like the amount of guys that are spawning feels way higher. That was a nice event, wasn't it? That one doesn't do more damage. Evil has made this place its lair. 
Five more. Oh, come on now. I need more time. Like cannibal champions. Help, I bag you. See, level 30 kind of works, so it's not like we can't do this, but you notice how, how things are a little bit stronger than you would expect them to be. Yikes. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm slightly, slightly ouch. Things <laughs> are doing slightly more damage. That's also where you gotta be looking out because now there is a real danger to die. And also when you're losing too much HP, your overpowers actually are not overpowering as they should. Done. Perfect. Okay, now we got one more, and that is the final point in here. As you notice, our skeletons are finally, like, at the point where they are just more or less dying very quick in a row. Oh, 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 poor elite. Been joined. And now against the boss, it would be opportune to just put out the bone storm. As long as these eggs are around, you're essentially going to be still using blood surge. But as soon as all the eggs are gone... You know, just, just go. A nice try hitting me. The one problem with Bone Storm when someone is pushing you... You always want to stand max range. We don't we don't make corpses in case you wonder. No, we don't. Not with this build. Okay, on level 30, this was this was a mistake from a, from a timing perspective. Taking a tad longer than I expected it to. Seriously? I'm not ready. Okay, stop, stop it. I'm cool. I'm not ready. Okay, Jesus. Almost killed myself here. Mistakes, mistakes were made, Chan. Miscalculations were calculated. Well, that, that's a better helmet than everything I have right now. So that's that's kind of cool. Okay, skeletons are gone now officially. Book of the Dead. Skeletal warriors get sacrificed for bonus critical strike chance usually. So you just want to have that little bonus critical strike chance, right? I'm be, sorry, prisoners. Uh, I do I do care deeply for you. Just really not enough to actually free you from your predicament.
Over here, help. Oh, sorry. Sorry, what? What was that? I, like, I couldn't hear you. Uh, that's unlucky. Uh, Onyx Watchtower. Yeah, we do Onyx too. A uh, sword. Good to see you there. How are you doing? Yeah, we're, we're, we're a bit slow. You know, I would have expected this to be faster. We're having to optimize our route, but I'm I'm happy for my first try so far. When we're going to be roughly on the, like, without seasonal rewards, right? Without bonus XP, apart from potions. I think we're currently looking at, like, 230 to tier 3. Oh, this is, uh, kill bandits. Hmm. Can I actually do that quickly? It's, it's moats and bandits. Kind of worth it. Yeah, moats is up there. I mean, moats is always worth it. We all know that. <laughs> I need time to do that. Poor guys. Obliterated. I'm going to go around here to find like more. I need more time. And there's the bandits we're looking for. Sorry, little beast, but we weren't looking for you. We're looking for these bandits. We'll make a Necro soon. I mean, Necro is probably the most fun and versatile class out there. And with probably, I mean, it is. <laughs> Honestly, if you want to be the most powerful class, definitely don't play Necro. But I think that's self-explanatory. You know, Necro, Necro is good. It's just simply not the most powerful thing you'll find on the on the on the market. Hmm. I need time to do that. That was a that was a mistaking route I took here. Just kinda hoping for more enemies to be there, so we would easily rake up on the one hundred. There are just no enemies here. Okay, that's that's a stinker. Only just wasting his time. I mean, it's, it's good for one hour plus, so I can essentially just quickly go and... I'm not ready. Clear the Onyx Watchtower, which I wanted to clear anyways. Why is the Onyx Watchtower such a good clear? Bunch of elites, to be honest. Like, there's elite in there, there's an elite in there, and there, there's the elite captain itself. So you essentially have this thingy just surrounded by four more elites. You can choose to take on or not, however you feel like. Seriously, like a like a giant bunch of elites. They're all so easy to kill. No, no. It's the most powerful class you think will come in season three. I mean, if nothing if nothing changes much, it's going to be Barb regardless. But it doesn't matter what the most powerful class is because the leaderboards in Season 3, the Gone leaderboards, are going to be class-specific. So you shouldn't you shouldn't ask yourself what's the most powerful class because that, that really is not a question that matters in any capacity. It, it only matters, like, how, how far can you push it with the class you choose to play, you know? In case you missed it, there is some, some kind of leaderboard coming. It's called the Gauntlet. And the Gauntlet, again, is a class-specific, weekly-changing dungeon. 
that you can do over and over and over and over and over again. And that's going to be very fun to do, hopefully. But yeah, that, that class-specific dungeon is also, then, in this case... I mean, the dungeons are class-specific, but the leaderboards are class-specific. So, yeah, you're not you're not going to be... No. I mean, the 10 people have left playing this game. I mean, if you truly believe 10 people are playing left this game, then, then you just can't be helped, sir. I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Who, who am I missing? Who didn't I slay? I slaughtered all the lieutenants. Or did I forget the one on, on top? So, I mean, like, seriously. I'm sorry to tell you this. But if you truly believe that... There's not many people left playing this game, then... It's on you, sir. I know, like... There's, there's one second lieutenant who's usually here. He's like this assassin guy. But where is he right now? I'm confusion. You're supposed to be here. I feel like he's gonna see you there. Wait, which lieutenant am I not slaying here right now? Seriously, what's your problem? I need time to do that. Which one? Which one did you not end? I killed all of them. Oh! I need more time. Okay, unlucky. I didn't. I don't want to clear this anyways. I just wanted the XP for killing everything. Behind the door. I know it's behind the door, and I know the other one is also behind the door, but they're not there. Hmm. Do you think when they see a new class for season three? Hell no. It's like it's not even remotely time for that. We're so far out from a new class. I mean, the new class is right now their sales argument for for the expansion. I mean, imagine they would bring out a new class right now. Like, how, how are they going to have you buy buy the expansion then? And it's, it's there. It's their one thing they have. Leave leave it. Leave it for them. Well, that's a helmet, ladies and gentlemen. Finally. Oh wow! With the <laughs> With the worst, with the worst ability humanly possible, your golem doing bonus stuns. Oh, that's the, that's just, that's just laughable. And it's not even funny, just laughable. Holy Christ, I am very unhappy about that one. Uh, I'll count us now. We're going to do Core Dragon now. I'm a Destiny 2 main and I find Diablo more enjoyable right now. Well, the beauty about Diablo and, and other games is you, you can play all of them. I mean, I, I, for example, I play Diablo Mortal right now. You know? So I play Diablo 4, I play Diablo Mortal, I play Hearthstone Battlegrounds, and I would also play Teamfight Tactics if I wasn't so far removed currently. Um, so I have a bunch of games to play until like the new season comes out. And when this new season is then ready, well, more to come. Right? So, I mean, they're, they're like, the, the worst people are the people that choose to play one game only. Because, like, there's there's just not enough content to, like, ever in any game to just play that game. Even if you're, like, a World of Warcraft only player, you, you will also hit that point where things get really repetitive or whatsoever. But that that's just the nature of you choosing to only play one game. And if that if that's a choice you're making, that's that's you know, that's on you, limiting your game fun. I, need more time. I mean, I know people who are essentially like bouncing back and forth between uh, between Poe and Diablo, 
And they essentially just play the season that is always the hottest and the most fun. Which makes perfect sense, to be fair. Is Blood Pass the best for Necro? Blood Pass is one of the best leveling passes, simply because of well, how, how easy it is to delete everything. That being said, as you might notice, we're actually playing a combination of Blood and um, Bone right now for leveling. And that combination is to make the capstone dungeon easier because everything everything up until the capstone dungeon is really simple with blood surge but the capstone dungeon needs you to kill a few elites that are just above your weight class essentially and killing these elites goes vastly easier with um with bone spear because you're also not just relying on like your your life to be high because that that's like one problem that blood surge has when you're trying to do something higher level that when you get hit you lose portions of your damage because obviously like your whole overpower is like your life and your fortify working together right and that can lead to unfortunate scenarios more damage yep That's more damage okay core dragon let's see we are level 27 and right now the capstone is planned for level 30 usually level 35 is when i plan the capstone dungeon because i want it to be the smoothest sailing but since we're trying to do it the fastest today we might have to do it earlier I haven't decided on that yet. Easy. See, these, these opponents are a bit heavier than me, right? But they're not to the point where I'm losing much HP fighting them. So it's like okay to fight them. In your form. Immortal is really dated with bad graphics. You, you do know Immortal is a mobile game, right? And and for a mobile game, it has the same graphics as Diablo 3 had. I mean, also, I'm going to be honest here, but, but Diablo Immortal has better graphics than Path of Exile 1 as a mobile game. Which corruption am I missing? Oh, there's one corruption I'm missing. I thought I had them all. Now let's pull everything together. Let's beef up. Mm hmm. And push. Then. And this one, this one is relatively simple to clear, but can be a drag if you're doing it too early. Because of the elites. I mean, the elite knights are tanking, that's for sure. These vampire dudes are being a nuisance as always. No, I don't want to go down. PoE is dated with bad graphics. I mean, PoE is fun. But it's PoE, you know? <laughs> often often people are trying to, like, like tell you, like, well, you know what? If you if you like Summoner, you should, you should play PoE. You know what? If you're bored of Diablo 4, you know, PoE is, is definitely what you're looking for. And no, it's not. I'm sorry. It's absolutely not what you're looking for. I and mean, if you like PoE, then, then it's what you're looking for, right? But that's the case 
if you do actually like PoE. Uh, bounce him against the wall. Why? Why? Why is why is having him like pushed against the wall so important? Because if you do that, uh, you are actually going to. Can I even wield that one? Yeah, that that was the thing I can't wield. So if you have him pushed against the wall, then then he uh, has the bone spears splinters just straight up exploding into his booty. That sounds very wrong, but it is what it is. Sales there like bouncing all around the place, you know. The game is so laggy. Yes, something weird is going on. I don't know if I'm having a memory leak, but honestly, it's it probably just blame the game. If I'm honest with you, you just probably just blame the game. Okay, lads, listen. We're not playing this. We're fighting fair. Good, you're all dead. We'll see how this one goes now. I mean, that boss is usually... A pushover. As soon as like his his cronies join the frame, see like what what was that now? Explain this to me. What just happened there? A bit more of a challenge than I expected it to be with that lag. That's better gloves. That's better helmet. Good job. Now we're going back to the Sorako Caverns, I guess. Going back to the Caverns. Need another potion, too. It's not the internet. Like, this is definitely not the internet. It's something like in between. Lethal, good to see you there, brother. I'm not ready yet. So one thing you could do now. Come back. Need something for oh, he didn't disenchant that one. So since we have the we have the blood bathed and we have the splintering aspect already. So we do all the dungeons for that. No, we haven't done the splintering aspect yet. Okay, now, but we are past level 25, so we are allowed to, allowed to take this, Codex of Power, and we take Aspect of Torment, and we take this, Codex of Power, and we take a base aspect, and the last one is going to be the Splintering, but for the Splintering, we need to do the... Cool run slums, which are here. And uh, wow. Why is this such a gigantic ride to get there? And then we are allowed to use the splintering aspect. So these are the three aspects you want on top of disobedience, but disobedience like shortly before we do the dungeon. Okay, my goal would be 230, Chan. Two thirty, and we are in world tier three. Let's see how much of a favor we're doing ourselves with the Ghoul Run slums. 
Mm -hmm. Maybe life split causing the weird issue. When it's not impossible. My first time essentially using life split, so there's always a world that's causing something. Full round slums did have a boss. Free prisoners. Jawohl. Does the damage over time from corpse explosion continuously proc disobedience? It does, and it's also the safest way how to essentially keep disobedience up. Because else you often end up with a bone builds that your disobedience is like just vanishing at times and you're like, oh man, I wish I had disobedience up in that second. Uh, but it, it kind of like vanished because you were just doing like your bone damage, but not over time. Yeah, that, that's an actual existing issue with bone and disobedience. That's why a lot of the bone builds opted in to play Shadow um, Corpse Explosion. If you're already in the dungeon, might as well kill the things. We're not weird. Am I actually making these guys survive? Chad, are we actually having them survive once in a while? Nah. Oh wait, didn't they buff the HP of these? Because because they, they noticed like that it's borderline impossible sometimes to have them survive and it's really frustrating that despite giving it your all, you're you're not having like Jimothy, Jeremiah, Dave, Timothy, Francis, and and uh, like like you know everyone survive. I feel like there was something there. Temerity, temerity is sadly not good. Uh, because it kind of requires you to continuously overheal. And if you're just healing, you're not overhealing. And yeah, Merity just ends up sadly not being as good as you want it to be. It's one of my favorite item concepts. Temerity, that is. Like that, that just the mere concept of Temerity is very interesting. But it sadly never, never goes to the point where you're like, oh yeah, you know what? Temerity. Uh... I hope my wife is here to open this. Just I'm speed running right now. Sorry, wife, but I cannot open the door in good conscience. I'll let the community down like this. When we're already slower than I wish to be, we're at 211, which is not where I wanted to be at this point. Double axe. Don't need that, but still. Well, can the seething abomination uh, and purifying the seeds in the field of hatred be fast? Uh, yes, but no. So, like, yes, killing the seething abomination is usually what I do, but I think it's actually not as fast as I want it to be. So, so in my in my head, I'm always feeling like I'm fast, but the reality is we're probably not actually fast. You know. <laughs> Also, like, you know, we're, we're, we're being so fast. We're so, we're being so fucking fast, man. Yeah. But if you're, if you're looking at it, we're, we're probably not even that as fast as I would like to be. Dagger is really good, by the way. 
Yeah, we'll keep the dagger, even though this is like more. Why is dagger really good attack speed? We push that one up. Yeah, yes, you notice how we're not using Corpse Explosion. And it, it's a simple thing of like, Corpse Explosion wouldn't make anything faster because you're, you're anyways just one button hitting like everything, right? So what, what would cor Corpse Explosion really do for you if, if you're just going in and everything dies anyways? There's like very few scenarios where I would say like, you know, I'm so happy to have Corpse Explosion there right now. Total armor. That's actually nasty. Why, why am I getting something with total armor? <laughs> That's silly, but it's really useful for, for like going further right now. Okay, so you see we have max fortify, right? So my first skill is actually going to be an overpower. Then we do this, and then we use bone spear. So instead of our blood surge, which is not completely true. We're still we're still having blood surge in the back end. Now, now guaranteed overpower, blood surge, right? Guaranteed overpower. Bam, bam, bam. Double clapper. Make vulnerable. But now we're allowed to use the splintering aspect as well. For the splintering aspect, we would return to Kyobachat. <laughs> So yeah, we, we could, I mean, since we're already slower than I was anticipating anyways, we could actually check how fast can I kill the seething abomination. Would that be something you're interested in right now, Chan? Just that we can quantify it. Because anyways, we want to, we want to make this, uh, you know, a method. During us bang. So the biggest problem with uh, the PvP area is that you actually have to ride there. So you're going to be losing the time for, for getting to that spot. Mm, you know? I think killing it now is definitely better than killing it earlier. Because now you actually have all your abilities, all your skills, all your boosts already going on. Uh, did I forget to craft a potion? I did forget to craft a potion. Nope, that's a terrible event. <laughs> that is a terrible event. There's technically a thought that farming in the PvP area might generally be worth it. Because you have to understand that the PvP area is um, having a higher monster density than anything else. You know? So if you're just looking to farm against elites, uh, especially in the, in the north of this one, there is spiders. And these spider opponents, they are so plentiful. I mean, you can you can just go for a little farm route there where you just get so much damage and everything done. It's like not even funny anymore. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like we're, we're getting him killed and there's no chance he kills us. But against the Abomination, I always want to have Corpse Explosion, kind of. So, yeah, I mean, you notice, like, even, even, even getting the five, uh... Now, now we have him in the position we wanted. Yes.
Why is that a position so important? Well, we were, we're just splintering the bone splinters right, right behind him into the wall. So, so they, they just come back and do like maximum damage. I mean, this is this is like fast enough considering that these this is the equivalent of doing a whole dungeon right so you gotta gotta keep that in mind this is the the equivalent of doing a whole dungeon because you're getting like plus five you're not only getting plus five you're actually getting a total of plus eight I wish you had a ring of the exposed flesh here. That would make life vastly easier. And dead, 22,000 XP. And you're getting I guess the sword might be like even the best thing you get there, right? So yeah, in this area up here, there's an insane like spider farm. I can show you that in a second. And the amount of experience you're just getting from that is... We're gonna find your builds Discord. Uh, they're all on YouTube, obviously. And there is on YouTube also a tier list linked under exclamation mark tier list that has all my builds wrapped together. And that we're also building into an, like a knowledge repository that links back to all our videos that tell you like how to armor up and so on. If I look so boring overflow, I mean, it is. It is. The issue is so weird because it, it kind of lacks the game, but it lacks the game so so that the game like, I don't, I don't know how to even describe like the weirdness of, of what this is doing. But the seeds of hatred purified. Now we get whispers done. So here, this is this is the spiders up here. So I kill them all, right? Then I go to the to the next area. Boom, full of essence. This is why farming here is like just so good. As a again as a necro, like I, I don't know how it's for another class because as a necro I can just uh, refill my essence in stenches against any opponent. That's that's why I like to that's why I like to play this one here. This is the perfect farm route if no one is around. Like you're essentially going from like like with a super high monster density. And if no one is around, you can do this like you know every every x minutes. Essentially, you should just return to this. Right, because it's just crazy. One day I'll figure out the actual respawn time of this. Oh, this is just a free XP rain. That's why, I, like, and the same goes for the south of the other PvP area. Because in the south of the other PvP area, there is some... Um, there's bandits that are equivalently high density. So you kind of end up having the same experience. Just instead of killing spiders, you're killing bandits. I think this is just a very good XP in general. Now, now you have this farm down, right? So it doesn't like you, you have to leave again because until the, the next time it's going to be. And I never figured out how long it is until the next time. I'm also like really surprised how few elites we have fought here right now. When you can't, you can go for the cannibals because they're also like very easy to kill. I mean, everything in the PVP area is easy to kill. Let's be real about that. PvP area just gives so much, so much nice XP. And also items. 
continuous items. Down. And back here was another spawn of... Yeah, there's always an elite here. See, it was like, like I'm, dro I'm dropping item after item from these guys. Like, if you want to be yellowed out. Life split is causing lag with OBS. Yeah, but the, like, life split is not running on OBS. This is this is running on the gaming PC. Okay, now don't forget to hand that in. <sighs> well, boss, well, boss is a waste of time. That's the problem. Uh, it just pulled you down. I mean, now, now I would say like usually, ah, uh, shit. I, I want it. I want it to be done by thirty. The harsh one, you know, by twenty-two at uh, two two thirty. Usually, my my average time to to take. Oh wow! Two legendary weapons, cool. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of lit. Okay, we're level 30. We made it, Chad. Mm. And what boss is usually a waste of time? That's the problem. When, as we said, like now, now the best thing we could do is just kill the other boss here quickly. I like the chat GPT video. Chat GPT video was one of my favorites. And it, it worked so damn well. I need more time. A mischief you know the fixed eye level weapon drops spec mobs across the No 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 we're not using these. They are not worth it. I mean, it's it's not that like they're they're not worth it. It's more like they're the time you invest in getting your fixed eye level drops. What for? They're not much better than what we're having here, anyways. So yeah. So right now, the time we're actually wasting wasting quotation mark here for writing just to get like the not nah, shitty event. <laughs> shitty event. PvP area. I need time to do that. When I guess in the next five minutes we should be able to get 31, and with 31 we could probably go into the capstone dungeon. Oh, that would be greedy. But I really want to see how well the bone spear blood surge combo works out for the capstone dungeon. I have to say. Sir, I would need you to please walk like towards this here. It, this this lag is so weird. Like like what what is what is happening here? This this is can't be me. What what is this? It just feels so, so extra horrendous, super weird times 10. I'm 
it's so funny using like both abilities but we're essentially missing out on like due to due to having like both abilities maxed out we're missing out on quite some multipliers here but i'm not sure how much more worth it the multipliers would actually be but they can't afford good servers to main like it's the time before the season you know how it is they're shutting down the servers until they need them again. You notice over New Year, not many people played, and they're like, "Ah, right, you know what? We should shut down some servers." And then uh, when 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 season three comes out, we'll just reactivate some of those servers again. What could possibly go wrong? Player experience? What is this player experience you're talking about? I mean, that, that's certainly, by the way, how it felt after Season 1, I'm just telling you. Okay. Like, we're, we're doing it surprisingly fast, definitely faster than if I would just play Blood Surge. Oh, two ranks and Bone Spear. I'll take that one. Making it seven, Chan. Way too good. No Gillian's Brew allowed. This is Eternal Realm that does not have Gillian's Brew. I mean, this is on the Eternal Realm because this is a, a level level style that I want to do uh, across seasons. Okay. This is going to carry us to 32. You fight that. Before we actually go anywhere else, I, I will still head down here. Because right right down here is just like, this is this is just also like a very nice farm. Because they're all 28, right? They're, they're like very, very stacked. On, on it goes. So what, this is what I meant with like in comparison to the spiders. There is also like a high amount of dudes here. That's worthy to investigate. Boom, level 31. There's another pa big pack of elites coming here. Teleporting back to the Tree of Whispers. We just recently got a new weapon, so we're going to upgrade this one now two, three times. Level you go, Capstone, now. We're going now, Capstone. I cannot do that here. It is done. Um, gauntlets. Bloodlands, Blight, that's sad. Uh, damage for each second you stand still. Uh -huh, that's kind of nice. Because we will stand still for a minimal amount of time. Not much, so it's so worth it. Okay, let's disenchant everything. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. I cannot use that. Hmm. Come back if you need the cores. Good chat. Is there a random level 70 here? Dude, I don't know. Some some people spend their time weird in the world. Some people literally just weird around. 
Since you're doing this under leveled, it's really worth it to one, two. One, two. One, two. And the last thing you do is you're using disobedience. Over to world tier two. World bosses are uh, really slow in world tier one and three. Yes, but uh, world bosses are actually fun in these world tiers. Whereas in all the other world tiers, they're just no fun at all. A panic uh, of who's nice to you too. I'm not ready yet. Okay. Oh, okay, chat. Well, what do you think? Possible? Not possible? Should we have taken a potion? We should have taken a potion. Do we upgrade our potions so we actually heal more per per hit? Yeah, we should. That should not kill me with a one hit. That's crazy. That actually took me out. I'm mean, we're 540 life, but still. <laughs> I did not expect you to get taken out with a one hit from that. Okay, that is bad. Oh, what? I was I was at least to the right of that. Ooh. I don't want to be rude, but all but to look strange. No, no, ninja Uh This is on Eternal Realm without like the XP boost from our from 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 the battle pass and everything. The time is actually pretty damn good. So you're, you're not being rude. You're you just don't know the parameters of in which this got achieved. I was expecting to be more tanky and I, I'm, I'm just really surprised at how much damage we're taking currently. You're not looking good to finish this at this level. I mean, usually I go in here at level 35, so, so not at this level. So that was now a, a try and that try was terrible. You know, I did I did generally expect this to go a bit smoother. Uh it didn't, so we'll quickly get to level 34 probably to do this. Uh what I'm gonna be interesting though is I'm gonna stay in world tier two here for a second. Okay, my game just froze. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So we're gonna stay in world tier two for a second. Because I wanna see how how simplistic Rocco Cavern feels on World Tier 2. It's still slower than World Tier 1, there's no question about that. Where can I find the special item drops? It's exclamation mark unique drops. That should show you where all the items are dropping from every single opponent. Could Aspect of Might not be helping? No, Shottington. It's like the level difference that's hurting you. So Aspect of Might uh, would mitigate a uh, like few, few ounces of damage, but it wouldn't put it in a position where you're just feeling better. I mean, right now I just have a chest that's two, two, uh, 300 item power. I mean, my legs are blue, you know? <laughs> I should, should have at least bought like a new new pair of legs. You know what? What actually might make sense? Spider farming in the PvP area in World Tier 2. That might actually make sense. Well, that could be interesting. See, like where where I am now here taking like a few seconds longer to kill that dude um where before like my one hit would have would have just killed him so one blood surge and that's when you're like doing world tier two things I mean it's still going fast enough so there might be there might be a trial to see if PvP area world tier two farming spiders might actually be an option 
Once again, low low base life opponents that die like very quick. I need more time. Great, that wasn't annoying at all. Now this is where you're finally starting to feel World Tier 2. Not to a point where it matters, though. I mean, the amount of items we're getting is interesting. Hey, remember when I upgraded that weapon and now now I already replaced it? Yep. There we go. by the way why overpower is so interesting because overpower is an equalizer beyond um and that, that's just such a better chest so, so because overpower damage is just like way higher than has any right to be that makes sense like you because of because of the scale with your total life and your fortify if you're able to actually push up your fortify up early then you're then you're bypassing like a lot of damage you shouldn't technically deal right and you're just suddenly dealing more damage it's kind of funny yeah now that chest is giving us so much more armor and making us vastly more tanky that we're straight up able for shenanigans Hey, get out. I think we do two more and then we go back. What blood mist and bone spear spam help with survivability issues? No. I mean, there's no survivability for the little. There's no survivability issues at. It's just me going with level 31 into the capstone dungeon. 31 is always greedy. Uh, 35 is the perfect level for Necro to do the capstone dungeon. Uh, like because because you just have the amount of skill points paired together with a base amount of stats and all that kind of stuff. That's just the perfect level to do it as a Necro. Generally, there's there's actually no advantage gained of doing it before 35. Um, because you still have to get level 40 slash 42 to actually put on sacred gear. So if you do it like with 32, you, the only thing you're creating is a gap where you take even longer until you finally get cool new gear. And you gotta run around with your old shitty shit. I'm not ready yet. A world tier three with level fifty-nine. Uh, if you're world tier three with level fifty-nine, you you just need to you need to go to world tier four ASAP, sir. I'm not ready yet. You should try the capstone at level fifty-five already. Come on now. Latest you should do capstone to world tier three is level 16. Optimally, you would do it with 55. That's optimally again. Uh, with 50, there's nothing wrong with that. Could this be a curse shrine? No, no, oh, sir. Bound eye. Oh, that's the off end. The shrine is making the whole farm trivial. You're trivial trivializing my struggles, shrine. It's interesting how much simpler this is in World Tier 2 right now. I, I might have to... Might have to do a re... Reenactment of... Trying out when it's like the perfect time to swap to World Tier 2. It's the best way to level up for a non-seasonal character. This is a non-seasonal character. <laughs> Elteza. This is a non-seasonal character. This is like not an unrelated question you're asking. The question.
So the best way to level up seems to be a... like. I mean, this is what I'm trying to figure out. So we're right now doing it with dungeon spam. But I, I personally believe that I can do it faster with... With Tree of Whispers. And that's what I really want to try out. Like how, how much faster, slower Tree of Whispers is could be. Because I, I personally feel like since they recently buffed Tree of Whispers, or recently, but they buffed Tree of Whispers so much that if you're actually doing the right Whisper events, if you're just going from Whisper event to Whisper event and you're, you're farming them all down, that you're probably faster. You're new? Well, Penny, then, like, off to, off to, like, doing the, the Capstone Dungeon now. You can do it. Depending on your build class, I mean, Capstone Dungeon ain't that hard. Just make sure that Elias doesn't one-hit you. He's a hater. He likes to one-hit things. Have, have it like here again, have it bounced against the wall. So when I shoot my bone spears, as you can see, we're straight up hitting that. Out. Uncool. I'm not ready yet. Why don't we have a potion running, guys? It's a simple answer. We forgot to craft one. But, um, <laughs> you want a complicated answer? You want a simple answer? We forget to craft one. See, right now, that, that chest that we've been finding makes such a difference. The only sad part is that we still haven't found a new pair of pans. So that, that's something you have to get at the vendor. So don't, don't actually hesitate buying something at the vendor, by the way. Because uh, there are good items at the vendor. But especially when you're not getting what you're looking for. A.K.A. your basic item needs then it, sometimes it's just time to also consult with the vendor. I'm running out of essence on my blood search neck or any suggestions. Uh, you're not playing Iron Maiden or are you running out of essence late game? So if you're running late game, then you're probably not using the exposed flesh trick where you use exposed flesh with resource generation. Um, and that, that makes you go infinite essence. We have some couple of infinite essence builds, um, for chars around 70, 80. I mean, 70, 80, you can just simply farm blood harvest, uh, legion events, uh, hell tides. So, so with 70, 80, you kind of do everything because you also need to get the materials. So this is something very important that when you're 70, 80, just spamming, um, nightmare dungeons is not advised because if you just spam nightmare dungeons, you're going to miss out on all the cool items to summon the bosses and when you don't have the cool items to summon the bosses you're going to be missing out on on the uber uniques because you simply just didn't get all the potent uh, all the all the blood all the steel all this kind of stuff so yeah Is Obolts a good way to get legendaries mid-game? Obolts is usually used not to get legendaries. You are using the Obolts to gamble for aspects. So if you're looking for a certain offensive aspect, you buy yourself uh, like offhands. If you're looking for a defensive aspect, you're buying yourself pens. And if you're looking for a resource aspect, you're buying yourself rings. So that's, that's usually w what you're using Obolts for. So tar targeted aspect farm. No oh, pens, chat, finally. Well, and it's a disobedience max roll pens. Okay, you you didn't have to do me like that, bro. Not give me anything the whole time and then just 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 you know treat me with a good time. Mm, I was like, Pon Pony, we fear pain. We understood that you're a whiner. 
There you go. Yeah, sure. Just keep just keep giving me pens now. I hate that we're not in this capstone dungeon, Chan. Okay, final, final, final run. Then we're 33, and then we do the capstone dungeon or or bust. Okay. Understood. There's no harvest outside seasonal. Yes, exactly. The blood harvest is the seasonal mechanic, uh, just as the uh, malignant hearts were and everything. And the seasonal mechanic does not exist outside of the season. This is why you play season, right? To to yeah. Uh, oh, non-seasonal charts. Well, for non-seasonal charts, you still do Hell Tides, Legion Events, and then, uh, yeah, your Nightmare Dungeons. But Hell Tides and Legion Events still. Also, I'm surprised how many non-seasonal character players there are. I mean, same, like, you get the special bosses in Eternal, too, if I'm not mistaken. Also, non-seasonal is Eternal, by the way. If we want to stay on, on, on like, on terms. I need more time. 33, 33, ba, ba, ba. What's better for the Necro 200 or 100 weapon? Uh, one handed because you need the aspects, all the aspects you can get. If I am honest with you. I'm not ready yet. This it is and has always been the main issue with Necro that like you have so many amazing aspects and you want to use all of them. No no other class has this amount of amazing aspects. And also this amount of limited slots. I mean like like with a the barbarian worst case scenario you'll just put on four weapons, huh? Chan? Why don't you just put on four weapons to make up for your shortcomings? We don't we don't have that luxury, Chan. Where are you going, step bro? It's just easy for me, but those vams at the end can one-shot. Yep. I mean, the one-shotting of the vampires uh, has also to do with a a bug in the domination vampiric power where you execute yourself. So there, there. I don't know if that bug is actually fixed at this point, but yeah, it, like you could execute yourself. Um, the surge build does struggle, as you say, with with the uh, vampires at the end. But the thing is, the surge build, like like dominates over damage so you just destroy everything by blasting damage down their poopy holes right but if you can't blast damage down someone's poopy hole because they are like un unreasonably sturdy um th then the whole concept of your build of your overpower build which which generally like the overpower build concept of just doing overwhelming amounts of damage uh suddenly doesn't doesn't add up anymore right okay now let's go to cubit shot We still got serration and everything going on. Average, good to see you there. Howdy. Okay, now we get our pants. Our peeper pants. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Got a potion, too. 
No advice for you. Well, don't play Blood Surge. <laughs> I mean, Blood Surge goes up until tier 10. Like, I, I cannot I cannot give you more advice than, than like, just, just move on. Blood, Blood Surge is fun, but you will just simply hit that wall. You know where where you're where you're just done, and then you can't go further with blood surge. That's just the simple reality of what it is. I cannot do that here. When I I get up to tier ten with blood surge, and then I then I stopped. I need more time. Which bit is best? I mean, blood surge or. Blood Surge for leveling, Bone Spear for, for endgame, because Bone Spear is just simpler to get equipment together. My Bone Spear equipment is just really easy. Just crit. <laughs> it's that. Okay, now let's see, ladies and gentlemen. Two levels difference and a bunch of better equipment pieces. It doesn't make it just doesn't make a difference straight away. To, to just go through this. I mean, these two levels are... It's a day and night here, right? To what we had just a second ago. Oh, I... I Like, can you can you stop giving me this immense lag? I mean, seriously, how, how am I supposed to min-max something when you're, when you're just hurling immense lag my way? I'm literally like I, I I cannot do anything when you're lagging me. Wait, seriously, what is this? I don't I don't have anything on in the background that could be causing this. Yeah, well, for worth it, absolutely. Undubly. Yeah, imagine trying to like dodge someone's damage that he's dealing, and then and then <laughs> you can't because the game is like, you know what? No. Okay, that, that's that's nice. So, but now we're getting a basic wand, and we need to be level forty-six to wield that, right? So, this is where I'm saying that it's like quite quite like doing this too early is not worth it, because it brings you in a position where you might be able to like do it, but you're gonna end up not being able to use your items anyways. Okay, green. be able to kill him that's for sure it's it's going vastly better than being like um blood surge alone so you, you, usually when i do this here I'm, I'm going solo blood surge right without without bone stuff um, yeah i'm just trying to move thank you I 
honestly the game the game has never felt this bad is is, is it anyone else or is it just literally just me okay yeah cool i'm i like yeah thank you i mean i appreciate it but like i, I would i would like it more if i could play Ah, uh, well, let's call, let's call it the hardcore challenge then, I guess. What are we doing? Oh, we're just quickly running to this guy to replenish our potions. Right? Give us our potions back to nine. My, my nuisance is just the amount of potions I literally have to waste because I can't I can't like walk around things that I would usually walk around like I'm, I'm essentially at the mercy of the lag making me making me like take damages that I wouldn't take usually Can't wait for for that for that random stab to actually kill me. Okay, so we got all of them killed. This is going smooth though. Like like right now, as we're as we're just going through it from a damage standpoint, it's going relatively smooth. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the actual fight goes. But here you notice again, all these items are level like forty three and beyond. So for me to use them, it's going to be a while. Yep, and I'm dead because, uh, <laughs> what am I going to do? That was, that was all my potions, Chan. What do you get one tap if you're level 33 versus 50? Well, I mean, there's many reasons. You might not have enough armor. You might not have enough life. Uh, I mean, I, I have disobedience running, so that gives me a bit more armor too. That's a lot of damage reduction. I generally have also tacked into damage reduction already here in my skill board, so I have a little bit of damage reduction running, you know? Oh, gone. Give me, give me like these blood orbs because I'm too lazy to use my potions. I'm just literally making blood orbs now. Okay. Holy. Why, why does it feel so weird? This is so bad. <laughs> Did I choose a bad day to do this, Chan? When I, I've, I've literally never had the servers this bad in the game. Like, never. In all my time playing this game. Oh. 
You know what I didn't I don't want to play anyways. I think we like to, throughout the whole leveling uh, throughout the whole lagging thing we probably lost like around 10 minutes throughout the whole stream so far just due to like like lagging around and, and wasting time and whatever it's so weird Come on, let's, let's kill these guys here before they cause any kind of issues. You see how we just how we just smash them against the wall? And what I'm going to be trying is to pull this guy because we know there's a bunch of elites on the other side and I kind of don't want to fight that bunch of elites as well. Nah, I was trying to avoid pulling that one too. Because he's he's like he's like poison and I don't want to I want to have like a poison guy follow me the whole time around. I think I should be able to mitigate this, right? Still gotta look out. Ow. See how annoying the poison dude is? If I had a lag there, I would have essentially gotten hit by his super annoying ability, Chan. Okay, done. Leave me alone. I, I'm not sure how to kill the Knights Council with, with this uh, stutter going on. The more sacred gear you will get, yeah, but the more sacred gear you will get that you won't be able to wear. That's like the thing. Like, congratulations on sacred gear that you're not able to equip in any capacity. It brings its own slew of problems. Oh, great. I'm <laughs> I'm stunning. I swear to God, I'm stunning. Sorry, chat. I lost it. I lost it there for a second. I lost my composure. <laughs> very good videos. Thank you very much, Paul Pat. I'm happy we can inspire you to play more Diablo 4. I mean, right, right now, I have to say I'm way slower than I want it to be. But also, this is Eternal Realm, so I'm missing, like, my quality of life features. Still, despite lacking my quality of life features, I expected, I expected to be uh, faster on this end. Um, I mean, maybe we can just ignore that dude and go around the right side. Oh, let's see where this is going right now. Yeah, it's it's like it's like you you need to avoid that downpour from the dude, and if you're not if you're not able to avoid that one, yep. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, that's that's beyond unfortunate. I mean, the, the problem is not even losing the life. The problem is losing the, um, 
potions you're not getting back. That makes sense because, because we're obviously not like getting these potions back, right? So you're just burning through your supply of potions and then and then you end up with One thing we're missing though is, and I have to say that that is noticeable, that we're playing here this with Blood Surge right now, but we're playing it without Blood Surge makes corpses. And the thing that Blood Surge makes corpses would do it, it would actually grant us, um... Uh, how did you hit us? You were like on Mars and we were on Narnia. It was grand us like more more corpse well Jesus. it was grand us more like corpse tendrils and that would be fantastic I have no yep uh that's uh that's something uh that's that's something, Chad. I mean, definitely for this fight, we'll have to uh, once in a while put this one away here to now get this one, but only for the corpses. Oh, let me quickly. Blastment on. So that's going to allow me to do this and then this. I mean, it doesn't solve the initial issue of... Uh, what, what if the game just decides to be really weird and has me locked into stasis? Oh, uh, what if what if my uh, pulling together doesn't actually pull them together because, well, I don't know, to be honest. Because they, they stagger like so easy in case you never knew that. I feel like though my, my bone spear, uh, we might actually have to do a blood surge instead of bone spear, which surprises me. I would have assumed that my, that my um, bone spear damage would be higher, but I have to say, uh, I feel like my blood surge damage is higher, Chan. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. But my actual blood surge damage is higher. I'll be damned. I mean, against this triple boss, it has always been good to be blood surge. But yeah. I'll, I'll be... I'll be... Twice damned. I, f I feel like... I feel like things are working a little bit better. Though. Like, like as if the servers are slowly unstuttering. Unfuckering. Uh, give me that back. Mm. Good. Got an air fryer Christmas present. Mm, the best kind of Christmas present. The air fryer. Uh, we have blood search go here. <laughs> Great. Starting the fight with uh oh. Press a bunch of wrong buttons, Chan.
it's just so frustrating to take all this damage that you that you usually don't take because like the, the it's, it's so easy to avoid that you know that's really my main frustration here right now like like taking taking the hits from that knight that you're usually not taking because they're yeah get niche Like, oh god. So schwierig, as we say in Germany, Chan. Schwierig. <laughs> oh, what a fuckery. I went mean, seriously. I, I will start yelling in a second. I'm sure, Vin. Me a short second. <laughs> okay. Okay. I got, I got. Oi. That burnt my whole face. Okay, uh on we on we go, which was the button. There you go. That burnt my whole face. Uh but that hurts inside now. Way too greedy. Way too hungry. Okay, yeah, so uh the problem is, Chad, that we can do this and we can do this very easy if uh if the game would work. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm like even asking myself how you're supposed to do the final boss because the final boss is essentially all about uh, managing your potions smart, you know, at this level. So you're kind of like double, triple screwy doo doo, screwy doo doo. Oh, that's just so bullshit taking the damage from me. Oh my god! I'm good, Chad. I'm, I'm not angry. I'm not angry. This is fine. I'm, I'm merely, I'm merely 5% annoyed. It's not bad. It's not as annoying as it looks like. I didn't choose a horrible day to do this as it seems. I'm not, I'm not going to yell at the screen. Yep, yeah, um, that, that's bad. Could you... Please replace the ability. Thank you. Okay, I'm, I'm just... I'm trying to take my potion. You know, it would be really kind if you let me take my potion. Because that's what I'm pressing. I'm pressing the potion button. I'm just pressing the potion button. I swear. Pressed it. I know you don't... I don't... I know you don't believe me, chat, but I did. And that's where we're out of potions again.
Yep, okay, great. <laughs> I'm mean, like, 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 yep, 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 yep. Uh, so, so, like, like, great, 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 great. <sighs> if you spend 50 minutes leveling, you'd be enough to counter the lackey, yeah, but that's the whole wrong point about doing the speedrun, Shottington. I mean, like, thank you. Thank you for the most obvious thing you could have said. Yes, if I if I level up higher, I could do this. But the whole point about a speed run is doing it fast, you know, and and doing doing the important level points when they're when they're important, so you can you can then level faster in the further world tiers and stuff like that. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're trying to get into the higher world tier. Just in case that wasn't clear. If that is obviously not possible because the game is just like, you know, you shall not in any way, like, play the game as it's meant to be played. I mean, this this kind of brings me back to Diablo Immortal again. So Diablo Immortal right now is in a, in a better stage, a better state than this game. However, that is a thing. Aha, I just avoided the damage by existing, so that was good. There was a bunch of good damage. Hi, I avoided the damage again. Once in a while. Oh, no, I'm gonna have to take that one. Come on, like, stun out. We got this. There's a lot of damage incoming. Oop. There's not a lot of damage incoming. Stun him. I was out of that. Oh, you just you just revived him. Yeah, I knew you can do that, but not when I'm lagging. You know, not not when I'm lagging. I have enough to deal with already. I think I avoided that damage once in a while, Chan. Come on, let me get out. Let me get out. Let me... Did you just see how I had to waste like four potions there back to back just because of this? <sighs> I was I was so good on potions. I was like, you know, this time this time we got it. We're 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 making sure, right? We're we're paying attention to our potions. Nope. Nope, we're not. Chat, we're not. We don't have it. We're not paying attention. We're not good making sure our potions are not there. <laughs> I mean, the sad part is I kind of want to like lock out and lock back in and hope that it does something better, that it makes it more bearable, but... <sighs> the game is laggy after hours of being connected. The game was laggy from second one on, so... It's not really that, you know, being connected for some hours caused the lag here right now. It's kind of like, it's it started, it started like this, you know? <laughs> It's just, we, 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 we begin the morning like this. I, need more time. I, I don't understand how he sometimes like walks straight past me, not hitting me. Right. But then, then his, uh, his attacks are like turned into these homing, homing fissures that, that hit you like no matter what, no matter where you're standing. <laughs> But then, then when he's trying to hit you, he just like walks straight up past you. Here, this is a it's a good start, chat. Good start. We tried to run away, but we, we ain't having it. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stun, stun, stun. Okay, that was that was good, chat. That was dirty. That was dirty. Big, big nasty. 
Now, now, if you just don't have me lag like crazy again, and we are actually remotely able to exist, then, uh, it's looking good. Honestly, half of the time, I don't know if if I'm still in the blood mist and he's not in the blood mist. So, you know, like if, if I'm at, if, if he's legally allowed to hit me, if I'm not legally allowed, I'm just taking damage. I don't even know from what. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I'm him. I'm in. He's she in. Haha, uh -huh. avoid it. Oh shit, get hit. I think we're, we're, we're Gucci if we manage to stun him one more time, Chan. Huh? No potions. Ah, I can't. I'm trying to get out. Ah. Looking good, looking good, looking good. I mean, it's it's working. Like we just we just need the the lag to be good in the right moments, and then we get this. Right. We need the we need the right engage. We're doing this, bam, dash in, hit him, curse it, go into overdrive, pull them all together, then don't do damage to every single one because they kind of decided to separate. Get our first dose of damage, which is unlucky, forcing us to use our first potion. I mean, the crazy part about this fight is that you kind of want to stay in the middle of everyone the whole time. But at the same time, you really, really, really don't want to stay in the middle of everyone the whole time. Because then this happens. Oh, something broke upstairs, I think. I'm not entirely sure. This one is looking good. I'm I'm this time trying to stretch my damage a bit bit stronger between everyone. You know? Like like instead of instead of usually doing my main damage to like uh the physician where we're doing our auto attack damage to everyone. Uh so we are getting like not into the potion problematic as we're then able to overcome their nuisance, hopefully. See, like, as, as we're now focusing on the big guy. We're going to kill her early enough, so that's not a problem. Especially that thing just drops four, four balls of booby out. You know, my, my, my problem is that we're kind of getting some action queuing happening, in case you notice that. So it's like when I when when I have the lag, 
he, he either decides to give me the dash or to give me the potion heal but i i don't get both so you, usually like you get both right you get the dash and the heal because he just does all the actions at the same time but right now it's kind of like if i'm if i'm lucky i get i get one of the two if i'm lucky you know and then and then i gotta hope for the best The saddest part is like that the game is always online and you're kind of forced to go through this, right? So like I don't I don't have any problem with the state of Diablo is in, you know? I like Diablo again. I know a lot of people don't. I do. Um what I have a problem with is when I when I'm already forced to play online but I simply can't you know? <laughs> when the game is like, you know, we were like, you gotta be online to play. And then, then the game is like, but you know what? Even if you're online to play, YOLOs. Get fucked. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'm, I have all the time. I don't know what's going on. And that caster girl gets just like what one time at the see like I, I tried to cast that bone storm now four times, by the way. And he essentially didn't allow me to cast it like like multiple times in a row because because of like the the action queuing that's being that's being created due to the lag i'm essentially not even able to use my my skills oh i blocked it blocked it or or it didn't get hit i mean blocked didn't get hit like bananas app holds same in green. Okay, I'm I'm not sure what's happening. I'm, I'm I like I don't know what just happened. I think I wanted to attack, but but, but the game was like you know. Yeah, I try. I try to dodge the uh, the the slamming bolts of black force that do a lot of damage. With I tried, it's essentially what I mean. I tried. Where's, where's the one potion? There was one potion back there. I was hoping to pick up now. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm here. I'm here, I swear. I'm, I'm, I'm somewhere. <laughs> I'm somewhere, chat. Uh, I don't know how he didn't hit me there. I mean, seriously, I, like, how, how did he not hit me there? It was so random that I didn't get hit there. I don't even know what to say. Oh come on now! That that was an that was an absolute uncool roundhouse kick, sir. Aha! 
By the way, yes, it would be better if we would swap over to uh, Bone Spear, most likely. Uh, to, to kill the last guy, but you know what? Uh, yes! Yes, Chad! After all this pain... <laughs> I have no clue how we're supposed to kill the end boss, though. So, Wayne, um... Um... Okay. Come on, it can't, can't be, can't be as bad as the, oh God, it can be. Oh, I have no potions. Oops. <laughs> I forget that part with I have no potions, right? Give me, give me a second. I'll be, be right back getting potions, okay? So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure how much time we lost there now due to heavy legs, Chad. Because I'm pretty sure we would have definitely first tried in if uh, things wouldn't have gone that way. But maybe, maybe I'm just kidding myself, Ryan. Not bad. But that was something. You're still on the faster levels. That's not correct because uh, the early levels in World Tier 3 and the early levels in World Tier 4 go extremely fast. So I don't know if you've ever done that, but if you if you skip, like if I go essentially with level 35 into, into World Tier 3, um, I do a Legion event and I get like three levels plus. So like it, it seems like you're actually in the faster levels, but the the tier skips are what really makes the leveling then be like super fast and gives you like that that super speed boost that that makes a fast difference. To be honest. That's where you're that's where you're then getting like the real the real deal speed boost going on. Oh god, I hate I hate all of you so much. It's mostly the inquisitors when you're when you're like trying to dodge their shit and the inquisitors are just like nah you're not dodging the shit sir listen we we all appreciate you mr inquisitor but but don't don't you lag me sir so we know the final boss has a bunch of uh corpse bows happening so you're gonna you're gonna get corpse bows left right and center chan in case you don't know that. It's going to be a plenty interesting endeavor when you're trying to stay alive. But the game is like, well, well, have you heard about our Lord and Savior corpse bow? Oh, I'm so going down. It's fine, though. I mean, at this point, it's just like struggle through it and get it done. Oh. Why does it port me back outside of the teleporter? In terms of speed first, uh, Capstone, I choose pass build. Mm, you can do pet build with a shadow, which works, but yeah, uh, the pet build works better when you're not doing it under leveled because then your minions are more sturdy. If you're doing it under leveled as we're doing here right now, then pet build is not worth it because you're ending up at the point where your pet build is sadly 
a bit too squishy for oh god what the i can't even heal against that <laughs> sorry chat i am being poisoned in between of the lags so i can actually not heal i am sorry i i have tried but uh like you know I'm, I'm trying but like it seems like that these poison things can form below me while i'm lagging and that means that when i'm lagging and they form below me that i'll take the damage because i'm you know because they're already below me but i don't know this because i'm still i'm still like on a different side of the screen <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, in case you didn't know that, that's how, how this works. <sighs> Harsh. I mean, this is certainly an experience. I'm loath to say if it's a good or a bad one. Okay, are we are we are we attacking? Are we are we fighting? Am I in yet? Can you feel me? No. I I, I don't I don't know I don't know. Are we are we good? Are we are we are we are we winning? Oh, there's more. There's more. Where did they come from? They just appeared. Are we winning chat should will be fun yeah I'm, I'm just like you know reasonably stream is also lagging stream is not lagging sir the, the stream is running perfect michael this is the game stream is running perfect Also, a restart of the stream has nothing to do with the game because the stream is running on the streaming PC while the game is running on the gaming PC. So, yeah, um, that's that. I'm saying, I mean, there, there's nothing a restart can do here, my friend. This is this is me just for the sake of entertainment, just struggling through that. I mean, in, in all, like in, in every every reasonable person would have like straight up stopped playing if this happens because there's no sense to keep playing like this. I mean, I'll definitely have to do the speed run again now under better conditions, simple as is, because this is this is not good conditions. This is not like optimal. This is quite the opposite of optimal. Oh, there's a core spell. Yeah, that, that's what I that's what I feared. You know that we get in the position where there's a corpse bow. You know, and and I I can literally not fight the corpse bow because. Uh, well, yeah, because 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 things. I mean, I'm currently trying to heal against what they're doing. As uh, I don't know, I don't know what's I don't know what's happening. I'm just I'm just you know doing my best to cast my abilities as I'm ca cannot or can cast my abilities. Okay, ne next round we got them, Chan. We get them now, spl Splinter Dub. This is gonna be easy. Nine, nine remaining. We get the Bishop, guys. Sorry, quick bite. But at this point, we we all know this is definitely not the fastest, so we'll have to. Hmm. Um, We'll have to redo tomorrow probably and try with the try with a different strad we're probably gonna do uh tomorrow and what we're gonna do is the i mean for, first we're gonna check if the service actually work hopefully uh and then we're probably gonna try out the tree of whisper strand
and, and hope that the game works. Or I'm going to try the fuck Diablo until season three strand. Because I'm actually like, I'm, I'm still having fun. Like this is painful. Yes, Chad. But I am, I am like still, this is like the whole, the whole idea of what I'm doing. It's just, it's just fun to me, you know, of, of doing this speed run. Okay. One single opponent remaining is that Bishop, right? Is that Bishop? Do you know how annoying this is to fight with, with like non-existing I like how everything is like cool. Everything is cool, 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 cool. Everything is cool. And then suddenly like nothing is cool anymore at all. Are you capstone at 36? No, th this level is perfect for capstone. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. You're ready to mingle and tingle. Everyone. Okay, Chad. I'm not sure how. I'm not sure why. And mm, what we can do to make this the best possible. Oh, no. We're just going to take all his damage. I, I, have, I see no way how we're actually going to ever get this done. Yeah, because we have no, we have no chance to actually avoid the damage he's going to be dealing to us. Yep. I just don't see it, chat. Ever. Yeah, like this damage, like the damage you need to dodge. Because, because like most of his damage is like so easy to to just get by but um yeah like i can't i can't even get out of that one <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah i i like i guess that's not gonna happen ah uh. I, I like yeah i i don't think that's actually gonna happen with with the lag you know that we're getting it done i'm really happy about the build we pulled off so so this is this is nice you know this is everything i wanted it to be essentially Yeah, but that's just a joke. I mean, what am I supposed to do when I'm not even able to walk out of like this simple damage he does? Oh, I, I did it. I did it, chat. I have no clue how server calculations work because technically on, on like, I should have been hit by that, Ryan. I mean, in my, in my humble opinion, I should have been hit by that. I have no clue how your calculations work there, sir.
Oh, hi, hi, it's me, Mario. They usually like okay. <clears throat> I tried chat I tried blood mist I mean blood mist would help occasionally if if then I could press blood mist simple as as like the effect happens you know what I mean when you you can walk out of all his damage that's the point like the only damage you cannot easily walk out of is when he does the triple slammer because that sometimes just unfortunately hits you uh but yeah Uh, yeah, see I like this time I was clearly out, but I still took the damage from it So so last time I felt like I was I was like I should I should have not not taken the damage This time I felt like I should have not taken the dam Where am I? Okay, I don't know what hit me This is this is uh, this is this is a great experience. This is a good 10, 10 out of ten gaming experience, Chad. <laughs> well, I guess that was our first try doing this guys there was three hours and 49 for uh like getting stuck i don't know 30 to 40 minutes on that one boss interesting experience i think if the servers work tomorrow if the servers work tomorrow we will try this again with a different leveling route so today we did the um we did the Sirocco Cavern and generally, so that, that one works out really well and did quite fast enough. But I don't hate myself. I don't I don't hate myself too hard enough to try to struggle through the lags. So we can try though to to relock now. Let me actually clear, let me like close life split. Maybe maybe it's uh like save the splits, yes. Save the layout and everything. So we're saving everything. Uh, we're closing Diablo 4. Da -da -dum. We are restarting Diablo 4 and uh, maybe magically the servers are fixed. It's almost one level every 10 minutes. Rethink your strap, please. Uh, no ultimate who. You rethink your, your weird behavior the whole day. I mean, thank you though, but no. Sorry, Chad. Uh, dude, dude was trying to to get on our good side by being like, "Oh, see you in ten hours. See you in ten hours." Uh, who? Thank, thank you very much for nothing, brother. I mean, not helpful. I need more time. Is this better? I mean, we can't we can't go back to the boss. That's the problem. Um, let's see, like, like because it, once you lock out, you can't go back, right? Because you didn't know that. Not while I'm in town. Now I don't know how to re replicate the lagging because we didn't we didn't have them all the time everywhere. So I'm not sure how, how we should like replicate this now. Might have been life split causing this? End of the day? Would be weird though, because it's just like, it's just counting. It's not CPU intensive or anything. 
doesn't even rake into the game, so it literally makes no sense. Then we'll we'll have to try that tomorrow. Okay, I mean, interesting. We'll have to experiment with this throughout the night, so we have more clarity tomorrow. But I'd say that is that that it then for tonight. Thank you for coming and watching. Hope you all have a fantastic good day. And uh, yeah, more stream, longer stream, better stream tomorrow. You could try W Split or some other. Well, we'll probably like see and look at some other tools to hopefully have this working better. See you then.